two streams in one day. This is not normal. I normally don't stream twice in one day, but we're going to today because I think I fixed my issue earlier with the performance my game had. I messed up. I was actually using the GPU encoder. So we're getting a really quick, it might be short, I have no clue, part two to the adventures of Captain Pock Pickett and Vasco. I wrote up all of the lore. So if you're on the VOD channel right now, I'll probably talk to chat for a little bit, catch people up on the lore of everything they've missed and our marvelous adventure to pay off our housing loan. Which uh, we're actually pretty close. I think we have enough in stolen contraband stored away. Chat, how are we? Good to see you. Hope everybody's having a good day. I think I fixed my game. I know we had some performance issues concept. earlier. Not the first Let time go. I've had those. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. You're going to notice something very strange today as well. Um, I am backwards. I am in reverse. I have flipped my camera for the first time in a concept. very long time. Almost a year nice to catch you. Oh, about a 12 hour drive. Am I going to be on long? Um, I have no clue. So two times in one day, bad migraine. Oh, I'm Jester. I hope you're feeling better soon. Uh, Cody pay. Thank you very much. Almost a year. Thank you for 11 months. And Napeta Carteria, you've been around for a little bit now. Thank you for seven months. Appreciate y'all. Um, so when's the Iron Man video coming for Starfield? Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea. So it goes live for everybody. Uh, if you're getting early access in five minutes, if you want to catch up on the story so far with Captain Pock Pickett and his trusty, <laughs> his trusty co-pilot Vasco, who I keep calling Vasco, let me update you on the lore so far. Exclamation point lore is going to take you to the general rules of this playthrough that we're going to try and do. We're trying to avoid most of the main story stuff um, and just kind of explore and go on our own really stupid adventure. <laughs> it took a pretty funny uh, turn uh, for the worse at the end of last stream. I am on the other side. I am in reverse today. Shocker. This is a massive, drastic change for the channel. Um, so if you missed the stream earlier or if you didn't watch the last VOD... Big fan. Enjoy the content. Shifted. I enjoy you. Thank you so much for 500 bits. Very generous of you. So, uh, we started off our story with Captain Pock Pickett and Vasco ditching Constellation, nerds, and they started their own quest. While attempting to steal drugs from a doctor on the planet Gagarin, or is it Gargarin? I might have spelled it wrong. I did this from memory. I think it was Gar Gargarin? No, it's... Gagarin? I don't remember. It's named after some famous, it's like named after the first person who ever made it into space. Well, well while we were on that planet, I tried Gagarin. Gagarin. I tried I tried to steal drugs from a doctor. <laughs> and uh it didn't go so well. <laughs> and we had to make a valiant escape from law enforcement. Captain Pock Pickett and Vasco, and after that, they encountered a derelict spaceship and collected over $100,000 in contraband. Uh, I actually took the trait that allows us to start with a player home that is a $150,000 loan. So using my savings that I had up to that point, Captain Pock Pickett paid off $500 of his $150,000 housing loan, very immersive, and uh, he stored the contraband and his home for safety so it doesn't get stolen by the authorities. Captain Pock Pickett, or Captain Pickett, we'll stick to that as the name, Captain Pickett, and Vasco begin their search for a buyer as wanted fugitives. So we are on the run from the law. As wanted fugitives in the United Colonies. So we have to find a way to get our contraband from our house Hopefully we don't get raided by the FBI. I don't think that can happen in this game, but we're going to have to see where it goes. God. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. First time viewer, How long time VOD supremacist. Pause. Yankee, how are you? Chip in. Thank you for stopping in. Chip, Chip in. in. Chip, Chip in. in. Refuge. Very kind of you. Thank you for gifting five to the channel. So drugs, debt, breaking the law, 
I'm really sorry that the quality of the stream was bad earlier. If you didn't catch up on it, I had some of those issues. Completely forgot to address the issue that Starfield has with some recording softwares. Um, it doesn't play well with GPU encoding. So instead, I'm going to encode both the stream and the recording on my CPU instead of my GPU. I tested it out earlier. Uh, shout out to Jabo for helping walk me through that. So the video that you see should be really good. <gasps> You're right. Adoring fan is a trait. We have the adoring fan trait, but I don't know where to get him. So we're going to have to look for him. But that's the adventure so far. Let me load up, hop back in. We're going to have to pick up the adoring fan and add him to our crew. Yes, we just started. This is my second stream today. Uh, I canceled the stream earlier because I wanted to address some of some of the performance issues because I started to notice that the story of this playthrough was getting really, really fun, and I was enjoying it a lot. It took you embarrassed. No, I love the name. Oh, and by the way, Vasco can say he says Captain Pickett. It's incredible. Who is that dude to the left? Who, right here? That's Gary Charlie. That's my brother-in-law. So I'm going to be on this side of the screen from now on. Um, there's too many UI elements on the other side of the screen. I thought about this earlier. I kept looking up going, damn, I'm covering things up. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you very much, Death Stick. Um, by the way, this is an anti-IGN channel from now on. <laughs> We're IGN haters. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I have a feeling uh, if it wasn't for Imagine Dragons, uh, IGN would have given this a 10. <laughs> I blame Imagine Dragons. So I think this is the right save that I want to load. It's going to take like 15. Really? It's still good. It's all good. You're going to be OK. You're going to be all right. This is weird, though, looking up and seeing myself up there. The game is out right now. Holy shit. Have a fun stream. I'm going to play as soon as it decrypts. Best of luck. Best of luck. Uh, if you're wondering what the goal is right now, exclamation point lore should catch you up. We need to find a buyer for all of our contraband. We've got actually a, a shitload of it here. There, are, So this is worth 16,000 and we have five of them. <laughs> so Vasco, I'm explaining my drugs. I also am, by the way, chat. Apologies for this. The music is fantastic in this game. But... For the sake of videos and how videos go, I am going to turn it down just just a little bit because it will cover up the game audio quite a lot. And, you know, in my videos, I like to use music. Uh, but we've got Xeno Warfare Tech, which is what's five times ten, fifty, eighty thousand dollars worth of Xeno Warfare Tech, 14, 15 grand and sentient AI adapters. We've got a few packets of Aurora, more sentient AI adapters, mech components. We have a lot of shit. Foreclosure info? There's actual lore. Okay. Your previous employer negotiated a no-fault mortgage foreclosure policy. It means that Gal Bank can foreclose on the property <laughs> and Nessoy without any credit implications to the current lendee. If you do let Galbank foreclose, all items on the premises become the property of Galbank. So please, please clear out all personal effects before the foreclosure process begins. This is... There's nothing even in the house. Your automatic mortgage payment with the Argos extractors has been canceled, so your weekly payments must now be handled manually. You have selected interest-only payments, so the current loan term is indefinite. If, for any reason, you miss your payment, your property will be locked until payment is resolved. Okay, we're going to Gall Bank. We're going to rob the Gall Bank if we can. I'm officially declaring war on all Gall Bank assets and ATMs if we find them. 
I'm struggling on whether you get Stanfield or Baldur's Gate 3. Can I have your opinion? Um, I mean, they're, they're both great games. They're both a good time. It really depends on the experience you're looking for. If you want a more classic RPG with incredibly deep and complex characters with winding, branching, and all that kind of good sort of Dungeons and Dragons type stuff, then uh, Baldur's Gate. If you want a more, if you want like a Bethesda RPG, which they kind of have their own unique open world and style, then Starfield. I mean, they're, they're two completely, completely different games, but two absolutely badass games. It really just comes down, if you, if you could choose one, I would say both, but if you can only choose one, I would say um, it, it really just depends on what you want. I don't think you can go wrong. I think RPG fans are eating right now. We're having a good time, but we need to focus on the objective. I have no clue who is going to buy drugs from me. It might not be a bad idea to go back into my house and bring one of my contraband items with, because if we do that, then we can maybe suss out any locations. We'll lose some of our stuff. We'll put it at risk. Or we could just bop around and hope that we find someone. You know what? Maybe I got an idea. Why don't we just stash our drugs for now and head over to Neon? I believe Neon is over here in the... I think it's on the plane of Valie. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. That's it. Enjoy Neon. Easy. Wait, hold on. Maybe one of them will sell it. Free star. Trader. Always another delivery. Now, were you looking to make a purchase? So they're trade authority. That, that's like their faction, the trade authority. I don't know too much about them. I know they're a little bit shady. Only the most successful mercantile group in the whole galaxy. If a place matters, you can bet the trade authority has an office there. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Are there any Skyrim content creators who have inspired you? Looking for more stuff like your videos? Uh, Yimfa uh, is, is definitely one of them. He's not so much a Skyrim content creator, but he is. Uh, he has done some pretty crazy Skyrim challenges before. I missed a, I missed a couple of these. Let me catch up. Uh, Matic, thank you for 200 bits. And Deathstick, thank you for the prime. Sorry, I missed that. And man, thank you for 50 bits. I appreciate you. Uh, Yimfa is definitely up there, you, in, especially sir. in terms of like how he uses music in some of his stuff. What's that noise? That sounded like a bad noise. There's Neon. It's the only place you can go on this whole planet. City of Neon. I have been here. And I was kind of caught off guard. It actually looks great. What was slash is your day job? So right now I do full time YouTube and Twitch. Um, Laughing Simon is great. We love we love Laughing Simon. Uh, there, there's a bunch of other uh, creators who have inspired me to at least want to get into making content. Call me Kevin is a big one. Doug Doug obviously. Um, Mickey D. Um, Mickey D was the main inspiration for me to start getting into doing a lot more Elder Scrolls content. Rip ears, is it that loud? Krusty is great as well, if you want incredibly unhinged. Krusty is, uh... Krusty is very unhinged. We love Krusty. I need to make sure that Vasco is actually following us. Look at that mustache. Look at that, Captain Pickett. I don't think Vasco ever actually chills in the ship. He always just appears right here because he's too big. Oh, God, you're excited, aren't you? Where are you going? Captain Pickett, greetings. Greetings, Vasco. I got to stop calling him. I can't. I can't avoid Travel calling him safely. Vasco. It's just going to be a thing.
Do I think that Starfield will be enough to pull Mitten Squad from the shadows? I hope um, that Paul is doing well um, and is healthy and living his best life. 110%. Uh, we, you know, the community would be really, really fucking excited to see him back and up to up to shenanigans. Yes, Mephodius, yes, finally, somebody else recognized that he's Loaderbot. Ah, uh, the Loaderbot Thank twist you, in sir. Tales from the Borderlands to it's this day. A while, hope all is well. Mio Struggles, thank you for the Prime. And uh, Lelanius, thank you as well for the Prime. But if you have thank played you, Tales sir. from the Borderlands, it's Loaderbot. This is Loaderbot. Very similar cadence and speech, long arms, fairly goofy behavior, uh, I guess. The cadence and speech, but not so much the voice. Loaderbot, much deeper voice. What difficulty are you playing on? We're just playing on standard difficulty right now. Normal. Actually, I am. What I'm going to do is go to audio. Every septum. College work versus playing Starfield. Get your schoolwork done. We've had this discussion before. Get your schoolwork done. All right. Fallout 4 came out when I was a sophomore in college, and I could have gotten way better grades without it. And weed. But the combination of the two was just way too hard to pass up. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. So, what was the plan, Nesha? Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City. Aurora, wait, that's happens? the drug that we had. No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? Can't, can't we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. Yeah, Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't worried about that. I was reading my we quest objective, smart guy. Why don't you go back to being the boot? Oh, he, oh, he was giving me a quest. Sorry, never mind. Apologies. We like getting quests. Uh, we're going to follow this quest because I think we have to try and get this guy out of jail. If I can find where it is. Loose ends. I encountered a man named Neshar. It might be worth talking to him in Neon Security. Okay, now we're tracking it. Thank you, kind Hello? sir. Can I have you in the background while doing homework? That is permitted, but you must be doing your homework. Welcome to Neon. I actually really, really like this town. I think it looks great. I don't like the look of you. I don't like the look of me, my ass. I surrender! I surrender! Why are you throwing grenades? What kind of cop throws grenades? <laughs> Who does this? I said I surrender. You won't get out of this alive. Taking the gun. <laughs> Vasco, we burned our cover again. Run! These cops are psychopaths. They throw grenades. Okay, reset. Reset, reset, reset. We gotta, we gotta go about this the... Uh, we, we gotta go about this the intelligent way. <sighs> Sorry, officer. There's... Wait, is security over here? Did I go to the wrong floor? Am I tracking the right quest? Loose ends. I am tracking the correct quest. Also, I need new drip. This outfit is embarrassing. This doesn't look like something Pock Pickett should be wearing. But 
Are they just gonna let me in? Oh, hell yeah. So you're telling me I have to take my entire load of alcohol back to New Atlantis? That's right. Well, imagine bringing your contraband to the city. You're not a real criminal. If you want to learn from an expert, take my course. Link in bio. Accessible, can I? No, no, no. Hey, wait. You were there when those security assholes nabbed me. Yeah. Please. I was there. Have a heart. You need to help me. Let's do this. I like a man with good facial hair. Not in a sexual way, but in a uh, brotherhood bonding way. Although it would be... If our mustaches accidentally touched, I I wouldn't say uh, no. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank I you. Admit, I'm freaking out here. I've been waiting to find another mustache partner. Job. I've lost my creds, and if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose everything else. Everything. Yannick is expecting a package. A really not so legal package. If you deliver to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded. He'll take care of you. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Because I have a weird feeling that if we complete this quest, God, I hope we can add him to our crew. I really want to. If he has a... If I find anybody with a mustache, they are in the crew. <laughs> They're in. So tell me what to do. I don't know. I don't want to wind up in the cell next to you. No, I don't care. I've been in, a, I've been in jail cells before. I grew up in one. I was born in a jail cell. You are a regular lifesaver. You're solid. My crates on block 02 in Ebside. My authentication code is alpha 3 kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there. Everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. Got it. I don't remember anything that he just said, though. Vasco, you get any of that? He's trying. We're still learning words. You don't need to wear your helmet in here. You know that, right? Immersion broken. I am not wearing a helmet. Okay, Ebside. I think Ebside is like the slums area. What's that place called in Terrace? In Kotor? Where the rack ghouls are at? Oh, no, no, wait, hold on. Have I invested much in speech? We do have, we have persuasion rank one. Theft, we have, <laughs> we, we have gained zero XP in theft because uh, of what happened in Gagarin. Sneak, we're working on it. It's, it's tough going with sneak. We can rank up our boost pack. Let's do that now. Boost pack training I like. Sleep crates for rent. It's tight, but it's home. Be careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are reputable. Sleep crates? If you charge more than a hundred bucks per night. I have a lot of crates ready for you. Oh. How long do you need this? Very sleep comfortable, crates? thank you. Two thousand three hundred back to work, I guess. No. I have some sleep crate units available for rent, but... Okay, I need access to Neshar like Osmani's sleep crate. Question. Let me in. You have the proper authorization code, and I'll let you into any place you like. Alpha 3 Kilo 4. You. you look like the type that might appreciate it. Well, then why would you turn away from me? <laughs> Where are you going? Are you crying? Oh, <laughs> she's yawning. It looked like she was about to just start bursting into tears. Thanks, Jew, for saying my name right. Did I say it right? Mephodius? Thank you. The code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Never yawn in my presence again because that means you're bored of me. I got it. I got it. And... Maybe she's high. Identification is oh. all green. Look for C-153. Maybe she's high. Before you go, I'm going out on a limb here and assuming your account's more flush than my usual clientele. I've got some evicted crates set up to go to the dump. Might be full of weak old Kazimbas, or it could have the original Miguel Rafael Bailamos. Only one way to mm, find out. Yes. I definitely know what those things are. Oh my god, wait, no, they actually put Storage Wars in this game? Anybody ever seen that show? Yep. Anybody ever seen that? 
It was on, uh, yeah, yeah, Aura, you know, you know. Yep. <laughs> it was always, there was always that dude. Does anybody remember that guy on Storage Wars who, uh, he had, like, shorts? He wore shorts that were, like, way down past his knees, always had sunglasses on, bald guy. Every episode was the same story structure. Where uh, <laughs> every episode, exact same story structure. You would have you uh, Dale, and I'm not done. I'm talking about Storage Wars, okay? This is way more important. Every episode, there would be Dave or Dale in the background going, yep, like raising up the price. Or Hester, Dave Hester was his name. He would always raise up the price of the storage containers they were bidding on by being in the background waiting until like the last minute. Yep. There was one guy, bigger guy, buzz cut hair, who'd be like, Hester, Hester, he's always, he's always running up the prices on these crates. I, I, I can't even believe him. And then you had the other guy with the really long shorts who had a hot wife named Brandy with his sunglasses on, and he was always mad at Brandy every episode. Oh, my God. Incredible television. Intel, it, it, it just fantastic garbage dumpster something? fire TV. I'm tripping on Storage Wars. I'll take it. Great. Unit C203 is now keyed to you. Best of luck. Actually, actually, game of the year. <laughs> they put Storage Wars in here. Which one's mine? Is this mine? Only key A102. Oh, it's on the other side. <laughs> it's on the other side. Wait, what, what was the one that I got? I'm more interested in the storage crate I just bought. What was it again? Does anybody remember? From, wait, is that what, what? What's your profanity? Jared and Brandy shockingly got divorced. That is, that guy. That guy was like, that was the most divorced couple before they were divorced I've ever seen. Got Nesher's package, nice and easy. Can I sleep in here? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Let me sleep. Good day, Captain. Let me sleep, Vasco. Okay, just a quick nap. Sleeping on the job. Is the game good so far? I'm having a great time. I am having a great time. I, I have about 32, 33 hours in it now. This is the third character I've started, so I really still have not gotten very far at all. One is my is it a separate quest I got? Lucens, Mantis, Dream Home, Back to the Grind. I don't have too many quests actually marked right now. Oh man, am I supposed to remember information? No, Bethesda, I need my quest marker. Nothing wrong with the old guess and check. Empty. Coffee mug. Oh, I got ripped off. I got ripped off! No, this is bullshit. This is not how Storage Wars plays out. Hey, I've seen Storage Wars here. before. Before I not buy, I'm at least supposed to dip my head in and get a free look. Yeah. Sleep crates for rent. It's tight, but it's home. I'll take another one. I'm rolling the dice. We got to gamble. And now we have a 107. I swear it smells. Why am I not looking? So, good luck with that. I'm going to lose. Way, <laughs> Pleasure doing business no, wait, Vasco, we need this to pay off our house payment. Nice meeting you. A107. Oh, why am I... Toilet paper. We should go to the Astro Lounge. There's got to be something also. hidden in one of these. I guarantee it. There has to be. There's no way it's all just one big troll. Under the sink... What about under, under here? No. God damn it. Hey. This next one better hit. I have some. Be careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are. I got load. That's it. Crates for rent. For next time. I can only get these two. There's gotta be something in here. What a troll. Uh, 
Excuse me. Um, ma'am. This is my... Hold on. Hey, perfect mark. I, I can finally get experience pickpocketing. 67% chance for drugs. Whew. Got it. Way to keep quiet. All right, let's go deliver this package. Not sure who this lady is, though. That was the fastest nap I've ever seen. <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right, we know that that's not her storage locker. We know that that's a completely random storage locker because we just paid to open it up. So she went in, laid down on the bed for two seconds, got robbed, and then left. It's the fastest power nap I've ever seen. Okay, we don't have to go too far. It's just across town. <clears throat> I knew this game would finally have a radio. Before Embargo, uh, after Starfield dropped that promo with <laughs> Im Imagine Dragons, <laughs> Um, I was, I was gonna, like, quote it, and I was gonna tweet out, I, this was before Embargo, but I didn't want to make this joke because there isn't an in-game radio, but I was gonna say, this is the only song on the in-game radio, and you can't turn it down. It's just Imagine Dragons the whole game. Did that jump in from where? Paradiso. All this time we thought he was just being some miserable hermit on Aquila. You're good. You think he finally regrets this me? On you all those years I didn't do that. That wasn't me. I'm not moving cups. Uh, uh, customer, feel free to spend your credits. No one or get the hell up. out. Your pick. Relax, yeah. earrings. You need something? If you're here for blend, I just had a new batch come in last night. Hello. <laughs> That's a mysterious name for beverage. I've never heard of blend. Please explain. The new gotta be new in Neon, because it's only the most popular drink in the city. You should try one. I guarantee that once you taste it, you'll be hooked. All right, fine. Give me one. Browse all you like. Look, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got a lot of business to take care of, so if you don't mind hurrying this along, that'd be great. I really wish FPS it's Russia so over here was better at, back in uh, <laughs> was better at it's customer service. Uh, I love that option. I'd like to buy some liquor, please. Sure, got more than you can handle. Yo, you want to bet? Do I have enough money to buy out his entire stock? No, I don't think I do. <clears throat> but we do want to buy... What's this thing he's been talking about? Blend? Oh my god, it's just an energy drink! Slows time by 20% for 10 seconds. We're taking it. I want. Give me your entire stock. I need all the blend. Got plenty of ice I'm gonna leave this city broke. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of money. But I don't care. Give me all your blend. I'm gonna favorite this. Throw right here in our hotkeys. All day? All Ah, customer. Feel free to spend your credits. Or... Oh, yeah, right. You're with Nasher. I see the family resemblance. You're practically twins. I know he got pinched. So if you are some undercover neon security goon here to shake me down, beat it. Yannick's no one's mark. He told me to deliver this. Yeah, dude, would you relax? I just bought all of your blend. Oh, really? Huh. Fascinating. So Nesher came through. Huh. Might be he's less crappy than I gave him credit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up by corporations, sickly minnows are all that's left. Take the creds. I am known far and wide for my generosity. Ask anyone. 
2,000, but that doesn't even cover the 12 energy drinks I got. <laughs> yes, yes. He is loyal. Loyalty will be rewarded. You look like talent. Serious talent. And no one knows you. Yes. Well, oh, they're all gonna know you my name are soon. looking at the one and only maker of Yannick's Blend. It's potent. It's False. Good. I... And as a jackhammer. I'm the only owner of it. I own the entire Very stock. Kick is the problem. But you may be a solution. I'm thinking a new, cleaner, smarter operation. With you working for me. As long as I can get my money back for all the blend. Yeah, what's the catch? No, Captain Pickett's not interested in the catch. He is the catch. Excellent. Yes. Blend needs Aurora, yes? And Aurora is totally illegal outside of the Astro Lounge. And really, really illegal off -world. We found ourselves a buyer. If the Rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship, oh boy, that's a long time in the clink. And if the great Benjamin Bayou finds out you're selling it on the streets, even bigger trouble. Benjamin Bayou. But so so far, that's another player. I have outsmarted them all. And together... We can keep making loads of credits and making a fool of the great man Bayou at the same time. I'm so in with this guy. <clears throat> Neon Street Rat. You're talking about Benjamin Bayou. This plane is suicidal. No one crosses him. Oh, come on. My one dialogue option I have for my traits is lame? No. I like making money. Very, very good. Nisher's worthless to me now. Loyal, yes. But he'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other employee, ugh, Felix Sadler, makes Nesher look like a genius. This I guy's name dropping a lot of people Felix for being a criminal. Sadler takes a vacation. Permanent. Off world. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean. I don't care which. But you deal with him. And you become very valuable to Yannick. <sighs> Okay, all right, fine. I have debt. <clears throat> Whatever. We'll take care of him. This is the start of something beautiful. <laughs> all right, don't do your Felix creepy laugh, man. Sex up in some dingy warehouse in Ebside. You will find him there. Okay, all right. So he wants to get rid of his coworker. Either we kill him, or we somehow get him off planet. I'm hoping that we can take him to our ship and <laughs> place him so- Can we bring him to our house? No, 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 if I can bring him all the way to my house and leave him there, I'm gonna do it. I need as many roommates as I can. I doubt I can, but we might as well try. This is no place for tourists, believe me. Yes, we're gonna kidnap him. Okay, but we're gonna do Ooh, shit. <clears throat> okay, but we're gonna do it ethically. What the fuck? Ah, I said ethically. This was not part of the plan. Vasco, open fire. Ah, so much for investing in stealth. God damn it. Why is every mission we go on a disaster? It's been like four hours total so far. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. Oh, I don't know if I can stop Vasco from killing you, though. How do I switch to just hand to hand? Do I go... Uh, I'm trying to rem oh gosh fine. We'll just hit him with a bowie knife is useless to attempt defeating us you <laughs> Oh, never mind this person didn't matter Back it up up against the wall Felix You were awesome. Did you see yourself those Sioka syndicate freaks had no chance 
Yannick came through. That asshole rescued his boy. Tell him I won't forget. We are tight. Actually, about Yannick, he wants you to leave Neon forever. Yannick gave me a choice with you. Either you die or go off world. Yannick's operation is in trouble. You have to get off world for your own safety. What? Yannick's firing me? That's what this is? Off world? Just pack up and go? No, 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 no. That, that can't be right. I mean, Yannick screwed without me. We had big plans. You're dressed in a garbage okay. bag, dude. Tell you what. Screw Yannick. I hope the syndicate string him up and execute the bastard. And screw you too. Yeah. Just go so I don't have to kill you. you okay, here we go. No, this is but you understand I'm sa like I'm saving your life, bro. You're wearing a garbage bag. Your sweater is dirty. Your beard is ass, but everyone's beard in this universe is ass. Oh, I feel so Except for mine. to know you and how you're saving me from my own damn life. You expect me to just, I mean, after what you did to all the, all right, sheesh, I'm leaving. Tell Yannick I'll miss him, or maybe not. What did you just say about my boss? That's not the exit. That's, that's, that's not the exit. Vasco, you won't judge me, will you? Another scumbag off the streets. <laughs> nice work, co-pilot Vasco. Excellent work. We've saved the city, Patrick. Any of them drop drugs? You look like you might have some loose drugs in your pockets. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said you could throw the bodies very far. What's going on? Next time they won't be so lucky. What the hell happened? Everyone was screaming. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's I don't. They have I don't know anything about this universe yet. So many Wait, actually, no, I kind of do wonder. I've killed a lot of Crimson Fleet the guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I was going to say, this guy definitely is going to talk to me. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. We got to look out for each other, right? Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful. With all the muggings and shakedowns. <clears throat> He's talking about one of the local gangs, the, the disciples. <laughs> kind of wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Something's up with this guy. <laughs> Something's off with him. Yeah, I might check these. Take this! Uh, is everything okay back there, ma'am? I, I can't really turn <laughs> right now. I'm locked in conversation. Sure, sure. So, for being so helpful, a chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. Have a heart. Yeah, no. Can't blame a fellow for trying, right? I can blame you for being really off putting. See, and you're moonwalking. I don't like that. Do you know how much ruder it is to leave a conversation by moonwalking? No, even though the face animations are hit or miss, uh, I'll tell you what. Y'all gotta go back and rewatch Piper trying to get into uh, Diamond City. These are a pretty big upgrade. <laughs> if I if I have to watch her argue with the Diamond City gate again, I'll lose my mind. That's like the second the second time I think I've ran into that guy. This is like What's this up? is really weird. You deal with Felix yet? I'm sure it was a great pleasure. Why would you say it like that? It was yeah, it was dirty. I had to murder him. He's out of the picture though. You get results, like me. 
Well, hopefully not too much like me, right? <laughs> so, now, new business plan. Where I am the boss and you're my capable and well-rewarded underling, yeah? Yannick's blend is running low. Soon there will be angry customer and that's bad for business. Well, I need to get Aurora. What we need is Aurora. And there's only one place to get <coughs> that. Zeno Fresh Fisheries. Nasher worked there and had a secret contact. Even secret from me, his good friend, who supplied the Aurora. Where do I know this voice from? Is this Vadim? Is this Vadim's voice actor from uh, Fallout 4 and Diamond City? Nasher sounds like he was doing a good job. No, I won't compliment him. I have a plan for that. It is? So, it is time for you to become a productive member of society and get a job at Xenofresh. And here are some superb and very legitimate credentials. And your new name is... Riley Chernyshevsky. Ah, nice to meet you, Riley. <laughs> so you apply there to work in production. <laughs> oh, uh, you know how to make amp, yes? A simple recipe. They expect applicants to know basic I chemistry. don't. I don't yet. Hey, I think I can get hired without knowing it. Oh, you can try. But I have a research station. Use it. Learn it. Then you are good. So you need to put on your best oh, fuck yeah. Riley, and make a good impression. He's just going to give me Meshar's all I need to do the research for it? Someone like you. So find them. Then we line up more Aurora and profits will flow. This is huge. This lines up exactly with what we need. Because I want my character doing chemistry, creating chems and all that kind of stuff, researching. Right? So this is perfect. I gotta tell you, man, blend is the best. Come on. Your secret safe with Is it performance what enhancement? Secret ingredients, huh? He gave us more than enough. No way I'm you how it's made. That is awesome. He gave us everything that we needed to research it. Oh, come on. It's not that big of a deal, right? Just tell me. Don't push your luck. Is there a chemistry station in here? It would be really nice if we had one. Now leave me alone. Because at some point we're going to need to start just grinding uh, all the chemistry stuff so we can make an unreal amount of chems. We're going to make so much goddamn money. We got to start from the ground, though. Word is the Borealis. You know, the DJ. Well, she's moping around because she lost something. I'm actually really enjoying this quest. It's pretty dumb, but I'm having fun with it. It plays right into our little... Jesus. Okay, there's a lot of different floors to go to. Xenofresh Seafood. Finally, a good corporate... Where's... where's? Oh, there he is. You mind if I bring my... <laughs> is it okay? You're not applying for the job. Get away. Are you okay if Welcome I bring my robot to, to the job? Fresh Fisheries, the pride of Neon. Welcome to Xenofresh Fisheries, the pride of Neon. Okay, the, the facial animation on her works really, really well because she's putting on that fake... Uh, Hi, nice to meet you. She's like a, a really fake happy tour guide. You've come to the right place. Xenofresh is always on the lookout for new faces to add to our family. The application kiosk is over there, but feel free to ask me any questions. Application kiosk. Uh, do you have any work for a chemi uh, chemist? Job candidates with background in chemistry are highly sought after here. I highly advise you to look at the application kiosk. Oh, try not to disturb Miss Grath. She's a... Vacancy, production line chemist. Scan ID and apply for position. What would you list as your greatest strength, Riley Chernyshevsky? I am extremely well-rounded and capable. I am a hard and diligent worker. 
my greatest strength is the lack of any weaknesses. <laughs> yeah, why not? What is the highest level of education you've received? High school diploma, bachelor's degree, master's degree. I guess in real life, I have a bachelor's degree. So, uh, yeah. Create a rough diagram of the chemical structure of AMP. Thank you for your interest in Xenofresh Fisheries. Submit your application, then talk to the receptionist for the next steps in your exciting adventure. Busy woman. All right, give me the job. Riley. Oh, God. Is that Cherny Sheetsky? Cherry? I'm so sorry. Miss Gurov would like. Don't make me. I will. To interview for the position. I'll bring out the council commands. Belly on the factory floor. She'll be expecting you. Have a nice day. Valentina Gurov. Is everybody in this town Russian? I thought we'd beat the Russians to space. Sorry, <laughs> I'm busy at the <laughs> How the hell did they still make it out here? Are you lost? Where am I? Wait, hold on. My quest marker says out here. Scram. I'm on duty. I just, oh, I'm just so ready. Down to the lobby. I guess we're going the right way. We lost the space race wars in this universe. Now wait until you get to Aquila. Or until you meet uh, Sam Co. Actual Disney employee. Yes. I don't think, um... Shit, what did someone say? I don't think that was Moira. No. That's her customer service voice we all have. What is my customer service voice? Hold on. I have a customer service voice for sure. Um... Hello? Hey, how's it going? No, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, listen, I had a question. So, for the, um, the introductory package, you have it priced at $30 for every month, but the intermediate package is at $40 a month. Can you give me the difference between the two packages so that I can make a decision between the both of them? Perfect, thank you. Yeah, that's, isn't that just your stream? Shut the fuck, that's not my stream voice. I didn't swear one time. Completely different. My shift goes long again. Girls. Mailbag ATMs are spread throughout the settled systems, so you can do Not interested. Madame Sauvage always gives me help. That's my customer service voice. <clears throat> the voice for the YouTube vids. Maybe, maybe I do use my. <laughs> I never. Oh, true, true. There we go. There, hang up on him. I use my customer service voice, do I, in my videos? I guess I do, maybe when I'm reading a script. Oh, it's an ad. I thought it was actually being whispered to by a sexy woman. Can you believe Xeno for Thank you. I'm so <laughs> fucked if I end up in a cyberpunk universe in real life. If I somehow get isekai into a cyberpunk universe, it's over for me. Skyrim Sheik, thank you again. Thank you for the prime. Good to see you. Ooh. This feels like the kind of job... If you remove the drugs and crime from it, this feels like the kind of job that Homer Simpson would get assigned to. Working at a fishery very briefly. Job now. I'm not the one who promised a 30% increase this quarter. Uh, we're there too early. We're there too early. Back it up. Sorry. I was explicitly told not to interrupt. I can't make something out of nothing. Everything is falling apart down here. I need my new budget approved immediately. Hello. Everyone in this town is Russian. 
I don't do accents well. You're the new applicant, right? Riley? You got yourself a degree. That's not what's important here. You know remedial chemistry and seem to be living and breathing. You're goddamn hired. Am I just supposed to assume that my character has a really thick Russian accent to sell off the last name? Chernyshevsky? What, what, what is it? I'm eager to <laughs> commie planet. That sounds like a really fun arcade, doesn't it? Welcome to Kami Planet. We've got all the games, tickets, and prizes. I'm eager to start. I could use the credits. I'll take the I'll take the position. Let's just keep it straight. I'll take position. Good. Good. Take this and put it on. Time to get to work. Using the proper ingredients, you can now manufacture unprocessed Aurora. Oh my gosh! I did I did I just walk ass backwards into drug like what? We can make our own narcotics now? The recipe can be viewed, tracked, and produced at the Xenofresh Pharmaceutical Lab. So I have to still get it off planet. Oh my god, it's just breaking bad. <laughs> no way! <laughs> it's Walter White's Super Lab! This game, this is the best game of all time now. I'll start my shift? Wait, like I'm actually just going to work? I'm ready. Oh wait, am I supposed to put on one of these? Man, I, I thought I'd be oh, let me get that outfit. Drug lab. Settler vested outfit. Oh, come on. Tell me it's in one of these lockers. Hazmat suit or something. You know what's good for oh no, that was theft? You'll hand it over. Okay, now. all right. I surrender. You're lucky I don't feel like doing paperwork today. Wow, I broke the lag. Uh, I broke the law in a secret drug lab. Can't believe another worker. Got this is terrifying. Can't talk now, or I'm going to be late for my shift. Okay, yeah, I gotta figure out where this thing is. Is this it? Where do I go to actually craft my drugs? You didn't hear it from me. <laughs> my name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. To all law enforcement entities, this is not an admission of guilt. I am speaking to my family now. <laughs> How do you have that copy pasta on hand that quickly? What I wouldn't give for just one solid week of sunshine. Assembly hopper. Interesting. Mixing bowl. Oh, is it right here? Got it. Unprocessed Aurora. So we need hallucinogen, benzene, stimulant, chasmbas oil. Vasco, get the fuck out of my space while I'm making narcotics. Where am I supposed to find the ingredients to make this, though? My quest kind of disappeared. Fishy business. It looks like Riley Chernyshevsky got the job. Now I need to put on the clean suit and do what Valentina says. Oh, okay, so we have to actually put on the suit. Was it given to me? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, yes, we do. We got the Breaking Bad suit. This is awesome. I'm keeping this thing. <laughs> it's never coming off. This is my new skin. Although it covers up my beard. All right, sorry I'm late, boss. You can't follow simple directions. Clear? So, here is the facility. Don't go anywhere. You work the assembly line, you make what's asked, and you get paid and go back to whatever crate hole you come from. Don't ask questions. Do only what's asked. Remember, you are just one tiny cog in the Xenofresh machine. I live on a spaceship. Don't fraternize. Significantly cooler place. than probably whatever shithole you live in. The assembly line. Why am I allowed to bring my robot to work? Nobody else has cool robots. Everyone's gonna get jealous of me and they're gonna get mad at me. That's the equivalent of sleeping in your car. <laughs> Job simple. The hopper will spit out ingredients. The computer tells you what to make. You take the ingredients from the hopper. 
We know to the milligram what's needed. So take what's required. No more, no less. Easy. Grab the right ingredients. And only what you need. The other thing is speed. We got a quota. As soon as the screen spits out the compound, the time. Oh my god, starts. a mini game quest in the creation so engine? The this is gonna be a fucking disaster. I can't wait. Put it in the other hopper. You beat the time and you maybe make employee of the month. Get a bonus. Maybe get promoted okay. one day so you can right. have your employee own of the month. crate rat. <clears throat> you take too long. Don't take too long. Questions? So this is good. We have to go for employee of the month because if you remember in Breaking Bad, Jesse worked really, really hard for Walt and he was only rewarded. Only good things ever happened to Jesse by working really hard. I'm working forward to collecting that bonus, bitch. If your fingers are as fast as you run your mouth, you'll do fine. Uh, she we didn't, did she hear me? Each other, right? You get one run through. Oh uh, yeah, liar. No time limit to learn the system. After that, the clock is ticking. Finish your shift, do well, and maybe you come back. You could go to the break room before you leave. Oh wow, they have breaks here? <laughs> they probably have like futuristic sensors on there, so if I'm like, hey, uh, are there any spots in the union? Before you can even say the last N in the word union, a giant like turret just opens from the sky and vaporizes you immediately. Like the Death Star or something. They don't pay me enough to stick my hands in fish. Oh shit, wait, we got ingredients. It is foolish to carry so many items on your own. But you finally speak up and it's only to criticize me. Not once did he congratulate me for being promoted. Oh, I think I grabbed too much. I think I'm only supposed to grab one of each ingredient. Deposit the Aurora in the assembly hopper. Valentina needs to cut us a break. She's a real pain in the butt. But there's no need to start acting up and knocking over barrels. Have some respect for company property. This is why I'm going to win employee of the month. Manufacture first dose of Aurora. Is it this thing? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I keep going. I gotta keep making it. Okay, we got this, we got this. We can move quickly. I'm keeping all these extra ingredients. Finally off shift. Unprocessed Aurora. Throw it in. Here it comes. Get out of the way. Basco, you're in the way. Campus oil. I'm taking it all. <laughs> I'm just going to grab all the ingredients. What are they going to do? I got so much extra benzene. Come on, bring it out, boss. Subpar performance. Okay, okay, so I, 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 let's try not to steal all the stuff. We'll go compass oil. That's all we'll take. Oh, hallucinogen. I need two hallucinogens. So I was taking too many of the ingredients. Come on. Excellent performance. Bonus this dispensed. If you said you seafood, go, to break you're in the price. go to the break room or go home. So I did get a decent amount of bonus ingredients out of that, though. That might have been kind of worth it. I hope the rest of your day is productive, too. All right, Vasco, a long earned break. We worked hard for it. Our drug empire is just getting off the ground. We're working on it. What do I do here? Just wait for an hour?
I have to manufacture Aurora for Xenofresh until my shift ends in order to maximize my pay. I should only take exactly the ingredients I need and keep moving as fast as possible. When I'm done, I can try to meet Neshar's contact in the break room. Got it. I'd rather be cleaning fish than running with a street gang. Welcome to the line. Hope you like your every move being recorded and digitized for Silicon Posterity. You gotta love old-fashioned corporate paranoia. <laughs> It's my first day. <clears throat> yeah, I was hoping to make a few friends. Wait, are they really recording? Are, are you yawning again? Why is everybody yawning when I talk to him? Here, there, everywhere. You can really feel the trust. Now, don't remind me. That makes me think. Did my old job have cameras everywhere? They probably saw how many times I was going to the bathroom each day. Yeah, we gotta stick together. Speaking of security, oh no, an outage? Fortunately for us, the damn things are broken like 98% of the time. You happen to know Nesher? Poor guy got picked up by security. And you are Nesher's contact on the inside. Bingo. The fact I'm still free means Nesher didn't rat me out to security. I knew whoever he was working for would send a replacement. Are we back in business? Store is open again. We just need to be careful. Yeah, store's open again. Shit. I wish Nesher had told me that. Huh. I'm in too deep to back out. I'll give you the cords to the merchandise. It's up to you to get it and do whatever you do. If you need more, you know, work a shift and meet me here in the break room. And I'll give you the new drop cords. Pleasure doing business with you. Captain Pickett, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. I haven't slept yet this entire time. I've sat and waited for, oh no, I took a two hour nap. I have slept. Carrying objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. Yeah, I want to give him some of the, I want to give him some of the resources that I have. Just store them on him. Now Goodbye. I have 35 pounds freed up. 35 mass freed up. Can I just start a new shift then and go and make some cash? Hmm. I hope I can work there again. It could be really easy money. And you all know I love working day jobs. Because it says... What does it say here again? Um, I found Nestor's contact. She t said that she's ready to resume smuggling Aurora for Yannick Legrande. I should report back. Okay, yeah, we'll just, we'll report back to him. So Nesher was the guy that we originally saw get arrested. He's in jail right now. He's not a narc. He's not a rat. Shortages over at Rely Medical. He's actually not really great. loyal. Doc Manning I kind of respect that guy a lot now. Can I jump that way? No way. Fast travel. Okay, all right. Uh, no, I, I was trying to get rid of you for a little bit. Almost got rid of Vascal for a bit. Maybe she's the rat? So his door was marked inaccessible. We'll see how this keeps playing out. If he's just in jail the entire time, that would kind of stink, because I'm hopeful we can get him at least like I really hope that we can get him on our crew because he's got a cool mustache Back away. No one... wait the boss is expecting you go in oh you got neon security in your pocket that explains what they were doing in the lab and now all the interested parties have convened. oh this douchebag Yannick 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 did you think you could use Aurora in my city without me knowing Another bloodbath in Ebside isn't good for the tourists. Still, sometimes blood's gotta flow. And you, you must be what passes for the brain in this operation. What's the percentage in letting either of you leave here alive? I'm the smart one? That's a compliment. Yannick's a moron. I'm putting all the blame on Yannick. I actually completely blame him. Jinarak, thank you very much for the tier one. 
Appreciate you. Yeah, he thinks I'm smart. This is a victory. I did end stream earlier. We had some performance issues between Starfield and OBS. I was using GPU encoding, which is what I normally use. Yeah, you know, you're 100% right. Yannick is a Yannick is a moron. He blabbed everything about the entire like I just walked into this store, never met him before in my life. He tells me everyone's names. He name drops everyone important. He tells me the whole ins and outs of the whole operation. Stand there looking stupid or are we having a conversation? Oh, ooh. your friend even thinks maybe I should do Neon a favor. Why shouldn't I? Your lounge has the upscale market covered, Mr. Bayou. But there are so many credits lying on the table, begging to be taken. Go on. Uh-oh. It's just a smidgen of Aurora to make blend, and blend is priced for everyone. <laughs> Please tell him. Yes, tell me. People are be people are practically beating down his door for more blend. The only reason is because I bought all of the blend and he ran out. <laughs> hmm. So you've got an emerging market cornered, Yannick. I'd almost think you're a businessman. Almost. Yannick has just started. The credits are rolling in. Wait, did you just call yourself Yannick? For real? I, I was about to say the same I, thing. Muzzle it. Here's the deal. You get to keep smuggling Aurora out of the fishery. You make your blend and sell whatever extra Aurora you want on the streets. But I'm taking 20% of the profit for having to deal with your bullshit. I like this guy. You're done. Yannick, get busy making me my money. Can I work for you, Mr. Bayou? I <laughs> say. You look like you could use a drink. Hell, we all. <laughs> I just insulted him in front of his face. He's like, how about some alcohol? <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome oh, in. Oh, your next heart. Uh, still beating so very fast. Ah, uh, Mr. Bayou is. Thank you, kind sir. Uh, very funny sub okay? message. Becker. I, I appreciate you. How are you? Still Yes. I thought we were dead. Benjamin Bayou is such an yeah yeah. Let's let's just try and get back on Yannick's side. Will he completely forget that I called him a moron? If I can call one guy a moron and the other in a party of three, or technically a party of two, them being the two targets, if I can call one of them a moron and one of them an asshole in the span of three minutes, and the game lets me do that, I am gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, yes, he is. <laughs> Our profits go down. I'm not gonna lie, this game's yes, actually pretty funny. I, I, in in my anymore. own time, too, I laughed quite a bit. So, business as usual, yes? You do a shift at Xenofresh, and your contact tells you where to pick up Aurora. You go there, make an easy and very safe pickup, and deliver it to me. No time pressure, anytime you want. Take a break if you like. I'm ready for another shift now. I mean, this could be really, really fun if I- Why are you smiling so much? Hey, 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 wipe it off your face! Yeah, he's so happy. He's just happy to be alive. You are the best thing that ever happened to Yannick. Well, maybe my first one. Ah, who am I kidding? It's you! Time for work then. Um... It was Riley, yes? Yes, yes, Riley. Start another shift? So does this keep going on and on and I collect Aurora, bring it back for some cash, or how long does this go on for? Because I'm totally down to just peddle drugs constantly for the next three and a half to four hours. If you've never been to this stream before and this is your first time, I don't think you realize how often we spend several hours doing the most boring thing over and over. This was very enjoyable. This was very, very fun. It was it was really, really goofy and dumb, but also really fun.
this kind of quest is what I meant when I've, I've talked to a few people and I've been like, I'm not gonna lie. It's got like, it's definitely got Oblivion vibes for sure. Because this quest that we've been on has been very Oblivion and I really enjoy this. It's camp, it's kind of dumb, kind of goofy, but it also kind of explains a little bit about, I don't know, I, I learned a little bit about this city neon and the drugs. It's just entertaining. Let's go back to work. Number one employee, baby. Oh, you thought we were gonna do fun gameplay? Sonny, how are you? Okay, we wanna take one Kambas, two Hallucinogen, is it one stimulant and two benzene? What is it, what is it? Oh, it's one benzene. That's right, I'll just keep collecting benzene. Wait a minute, no. I'm taking it all. I've been working at Xeno for years and I've only seen Bayou's visit the factory Wait, once. time out. Because if I collect all these ingredients now, then I'll have them in stock when I want to make my own Aurora. Unless I can only make it here. There's definitely got to be other places I can make it. Can this wait? Need to wash the fish smell out of these yeah, that's right, Starfield. You thought your underwhelming menus could get in my way? <laughs> Too good for you. Bring it on, bring it on. All right, let's do this one right and collect our paycheck. We'll go. One oil, one benzene, two hallucinogen, one stimulant. I'm gonna be the best damn worker ever, employee of the month. Easy. Nine hundred credits. Okay, shift complete. Now we talk to Robbie again. It's a living, right? Hey, Riley. Maybe you'll find something fun over here. Like Cas and Bass Tacos. Might have to go check it out. Can I find the package there? She's going to be mad if I, uh, if I say the package out loud. Saying the word package out loud directly would be the dumbest option. Not so loud. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be there. She's in, no, she's not into me. She can't even see my face. I'm up for doing this again. Bye. Retrieve the stash. Yeah, I think this is probably just something I can do several times for cash. Just come to the factory and work. It's not really, uh, it's not really that efficient. This is a decent run across town. But I do want to see how far we can take this. How much cash do I have? Have I paid off my energy drink debt? I think I have. Yeah, we have 20,000 credits. <clears throat> so I've at least paid off all of the energy drinks that I bought. What would Yannick do? <laughs> I'm just waiting for John Quinones to show up. Hi, I'm John Quinones. <laughs> what would you do? Catherine Lucy. Holy shit, holy crowds. Jeez. You guys are gonna explode my PC. Are we running hot? My PC is actually not running hot. Uh, Sonny, thank you again for sending your stream over. I hope it went well. Energy drink debt. Yeah, so when I first got into town in Neon, I decided to buy the entire stock of spiked energy drinks. Yannick's package. Deliver the Aurora to Yannick. Can I just bust open this package and take the Aurora? There's so much getting skimmed off the top. I gotta break into this drug business. This is a cool ass town though. It looks great. The first time I came here, I only came here briefly just to check it out and take a screenshot, but it does look really, really nice. You don't want to be fighting. 
Another day, another shift. Just another lousy day in Neon, am I right? You keep this up, and we will both be living large. <laughs> yes. Yes! Using the proper ingredients, you can now manufacture Aurora. The recipe can be viewed, tracked, and produced at any pharmaceutical lab. I cannot believe that. We completely randomly fell ass backwards into this quest. And now we can make our own narcotics. <laughs> this is incredible. We got to get back to our home base, Vasco. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. We need to collect Chasm Boss? That's probably going to be the toughest you, thing. Bland is the best. Took it easy. Your secret safe with me. What are the secret ingredients, huh? So we need to figure out a pharmaceutical lab. That's going to get us going just a little bit. I'm still wearing the suit. I'm keeping it on. These are my clothes. I'm walking around every time. Uh, I can't, though. I have to be able to see my face a bit. My partner and I rewatched Daiju Vods or Daiju Vids to go to sleep every night. It's so weird watching you live. I woke up again this morning to my VOD channel on the TV. I'm so, so, so happy, though, to just run into a quest like that. It's so fun. It's like, I don't know. I feel like uh, it, it feels like, um, I don't know. I feel like there weren't any, there wasn't ever any quests like that in uh, Fallout 4. But that was a, that's a great reward, uh, getting the recipe to actually make contraband. That's sick. Really pumped. I'm lost now. Too bad I can't squeeze any aurora from these fish. Rather be doing this than getting Now we have to figure out what ingredients do we need exactly to make aurora. Benzene might be a little bit tough. We'll have to harvest it off of some moons. We could probably buy it. Regardless, I think I'm gonna leave Neon for now. Ink Demon. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Is the game using any upscaling? So I'm not super familiar with like the technology. Um, but yeah, it uses FSR2. I know there's been there's been a lot of drama and stuff about the upscaling that it uses. I've had uh, a really, really stable experience. I've actually heard great things about console performance as well. I wonder if my friend started playing tonight at all. Uh, because they're on Xbox. Benzene and Hypogenics. So it was Benzene. Uh, Benzene. God, I'm trying to think of the other ones. I don't know. I'm just going to take off into space and see if anything happens. I doubt we're running anything out there. In the city of Neon, especially, very cyberpunk inspired for sure. It's like a little Neon kind of reminds me if uh, Night City and Coruscant from the Star Wars prequels made love and had a very small baby. Couple of ships, nothing crazy over here. I love that my house is in the same galaxy that was the party city. I mean, my next door neighbor is literally Party Town USA, or I guess Party Town United Colonies, UC. Just UC, civilian outpost right here. True, we could, scan's unavailable. We could just set course and then I think scan it. Can you rob ships in space? You can. Narshada? Can you change first and third person? Yes. Can do it in your ship too. Hey, contact Charlie 3. That's you. Charlie 3. Hi. Come in. Meet you. Bye, Charlie 3. Hi. You have any Just drugs? Doing my daily pain and forward. Avoid the Altair system. Not big time. I have done this quest. I did enjoy this quest. Sure. So, I'm doing my rounds, uh, pick up supplies.
supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system, and oh <laughs> boy, spacers all over the damn place there, distress call, yammering nonstop. Some big's going down there, and all of us with no skin in the game, this we just give it a wide berth. <laughs> Am I right? Um, yeah, why don't we do this? I I, uh, I guess I just recently did this quest the other night when I was recording some footage. I did really enjoy it. It was fun. Uh, there was one kind of action sequence that bugged out just a tad, but it was a really fun quest. Charlie 3, you are looking to pay it forward like big time. <laughs> I mean, I won't tell you you're crazy, but wow. Bye, Charlie 3. You've been like the he reminds me of uh, Tales from the Borderlands. He reminds me of Scooter. Is that Scooter? Catch a ride. But there's a civilian outpost. I want to go visit. Where was he talking about? Not the old neighborhood. Ground Pounder? Merchant told me. Yeah, right here. Altair? Ooh, that's far. Bro, I'm like 17 light years away from there. Why'd you deliver the message to me here? Now, nah, let's go to the civilian outpost. They could be potential customers. Let's check it out. That's what I first thought was Assassin's Creed Altair. Is there such a thing as Midwestern space? Because that guy is from Midwestern space. I don't think so. No, that wasn't Midwestern. I believe we will find alien life forms in this region. You might be right. Something over there. We got movement. Flocking Trident Grazer. There's the outpost. I came here for one reason and one reason only. Just to see who the hell is over here. Come on, Vasque. Oh, nice. I love when there is limited gravity. Gotta keep an eye out for benzene if we can. None on this planet, sadly. But if we ever come across benzene, it's gonna be crucial towards our empire. There's a ship here. Oh god, it's so tempting. I don't think, uh, maybe we can take it? It depends. I think if it's a faction ship, we can't? Inaccessible. Wendigo? There's definitely gonna be somebody here. I think it's gonna be named NPCs rather than just kind of a generic settlement. Although, well, <laughs> the name doesn't really offer up any, uh, doesn't give me any detail, really. I've ran into these types of settlements while just randomly exploring planets. Hello, stranger. It could also just be a regular random place. Yeah, I'm calling it. Vehicles in the first or I actually think this game's only this is my hot take. I think this game's only gonna get one expansion pack and it's gonna have vehicles Just a feeling Because it would be cool as shit Wait, yeah, are there more Russians? I think I I think my entire operation is being Operated in the Russian sector of space Oh, I love this sign even in the future, they still use Comic Sans. Or is that Ariel? Does anybody know what font that is? We're having a sale this month, I think. Just give me the Radiant Quest so I can move on. You look interesting. When I was younger, nope, never mind. I would love it out here. If you need your ship repaired, find my associate. You can I'd trust what you buy here. About it. We use our own supplies. Speaking of customer service voice. Supply is low. 
But demand is also low. I do need to get rid of some shit. Let's make some cash if we can. Holy crap, I am carrying a lot of weapons to sell. Yes, we need to fund this adventure. I've already got a maelstrom that we'll use. Probably should have kept the equinox, but I'll sell it. Where's the... Oh, med theft eon. We're going to keep that eon so we can generate healing. Kind of like having a legendary knife, but I need the cash. 24,000 credits. Got rid of some weight. Let's get rid of some of these packs. I'm not too, too worried about my stats right now and min-maxing. I feel like I just can't hide my mustache. We could go with the Cal Kestis. Do you guys like the poncho? Sell your energy drinks? I'm not selling the energy drinks. Absolutely not. I'm looking at myself. Oh. Sorry, do you guys want me to look like this whenever I reach? Actually, should I put chat above my head? Can we talk about how Starfield copied Deep Rock Galactic by calling the robot Vasco instead of Bosco? It's Vasco or Vasco, not with an O. Totally different. We're going to keep the poncho. I like the poncho. We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. I'm actually... I really wasn't expecting to kind of be gushing over that quest, but I kind of am. I kind of loved that quest a lot. Not bad. There's not a whole lot here. I could run around and shoot some wildlife, but I'm not a... If my build was focused on, like, cooking food and breaking down animal ingredients and stuff like that, I probably would run around here a little bit more and try to take out animals. Where is my house? Oh, my house is in another system. I forgot where my home is. Not poor Emma. Is it Narian? It's Freestar Collective where it's at. Where my house is. Is it Cheyenne? Approaching ship. You've entered Freestar Collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Yeah, scan away. They don't want anybody to have fun. It's crazy. It. Enjoy that Aquila City air. No, I haven't been here yet. Because I got XP for it. It's probably somewhere in the tab. Activities? It's now post beacon. Check your ship's inventory. No, these are just random little hints. <clears throat> but not where my house is. I really don't remember where it's at. Is it Narian? No, it's not Narian. Actually, we said we would check out Barnard Star. So why don't we? Let's hop over here. I like how I've been playing for an hour and a half and I haven't shot anything. I just want to see this sun. Is it on the other side? It's probably on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. So I'm gonna land smack dab right here. Frozen craters. Lead, helium three. No benzene. I'm just curious to see if we can see this sun. Huge 
compound over there. Negative 167 degrees. 1.5 gravity. Ooh, I cannot jump here. I gotta watch out for fall damage. I think on higher gravity planets, fall damage is a lot stronger. Trying to figure out the big structure I saw as we landed in. This looks like Hoth. This is sweet. There's gonna be like nothing here other than this one structure. Aptly named structure. Come on, buddy. Run with me. Oh. Okay, something is happening on this planet where my oxygen goes down really quickly. I'll take what I can get. It's not gonna be a lot. But I'll take it. I feel like I could at least use lead for stuff at my home base. Can you build a house on any planet? You can build a settlement. <laughs> uh, building a settlement is a little bit different than a house. There is a... Ooh, I knew it. Search the enemy's remains for valuables. Yeah, no shit. Ooh, these guys are a little bit tankier. Modified coachman. There it is. Nice and easy. Damn. I love this gun. It feels so good. This is tough. Level four lock. Contraband as well. There's probably so much cash in there. And we're in a system where if we take off our ship right now, we're not going to get scanned. We can get all the way back home with that easily. White wine. Should I just, should I start collecting booze as well? Did you pick? I need those. Okay, we need to keep an eye out for unlockable containers in here. We got to train our lockpick. Ground crew space suit. Looks decent. It's worth 3,000. An issue ballistic weapons permanently do 5% more critical damage. That's kind of wild that we're pulling. We're pulling magazine skill bonuses in generated structures. Rabbit plus helmet. Mm, nah, I'm not a fan of that one. Where are my clothes? I know the first mod that's getting put into this game. You know what's insane? You guys want to know what I love? And I, I learned this a little bit before we started the stream. What I absolutely love about uh, the Bethesda game community is 20 minutes before the uh, game went out for the September 1st early access, August 31st, universal time, whatever the hell. Um, 20 minutes before the game even came out to be, you know, played by the general public, uh, the Bethesda Archive Extractor was already put onto the Nexus. So if you don't know what the Bethesda Archive Extractor is, essentially it's a tool on the Nexus where you can extract files from the creation engine that are nested in what are called... Uh, BSA or BA2 files. And using the Bethesda Archive Extractor, 
that's the tool that I used for, uh, like, in Fallout 4, when I decided to write Juve Presents on the knife and do the little animation and let that play out. It's how I changed the billboard to say, fuck Spectrum. It's how I put Jabo's face on the billboard for that one intro we did. Uh, don't need a whole lot in here right now. Let's check downstairs. But the fact that it came out 20 minutes before the game even launched is just insane. Is there a stealth or sneak? Yes, there is sneak. What are your first impressions of the game so far? Performance? Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it to you straight about performance. Uh, damn near flawless. Now I am playing on a 3080 with a um, fairly high end CPU, um, but the hit to my CPU performance has honestly been fairly minimal. My CPU utilization was at like 20% when we were streaming earlier. It's higher now because I'm running the stream and the recording off of it. Okay, we're hidden. All right, let's try to utilize sneak. Can I get through that vent? Looks like it's only an exit. But you definitely got people here. Boom, 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 This is a large, oh. oh. I thought we were safe. That's my bad, that's my bad, man. I blew our cover. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, mine, mine. <laughs> mine him to death. Ecliptic pack, Grendel, those aren't worth a lot. Ooh, forgot about gravity here. I remember this exact room being in the direct. Holy hell, that's a lot of red dots. Structural report. Lars, I've brought this up before, but Shannon doesn't seem to grasp the situation. If we don't do something about the system connectors for the cryogenic projects, and there is even a minor failure, we could have facility-wide issues. I know you understand the problem, but I want to remind you that the exterior environmental changes are potentially exacerbating the situation. Dude, use more syllables. We can't change these. We can't control those factors. Please talk to Shannon. As much as I enjoy working with you, I don't want to be trapped in this ice tomb forever. Metabolic agent, toxins. I feel like those could be decent for drugs. I'm just not sure what the drug recipes are. I'm still learning. Coffee, celery. Are they up there? No? Oh, they lost me. I kind of want to get the ecliptic armor. It looks like Boba Fett or Jango Fett. There's that sneak attack we were looking for. Stealth Archer in action. I'm so back. Another digi pick. Got to start collecting digi picks. Lore. All looking good. Thank you, kind sir. Friends Shan, how are you? That took me a little bit. I, I had to read it a couple times. I was like, friend, 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 but thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. How are you? Oh, shit. 
Oh, uh -huh. fooled me too. I trust me, I'm on the same page as you. I am also a bot. So, there. Now I can finally relate with the NPCs. Wrong button. It is a fact that my firepower exceeds. Shut up, Vasco. I'm doing really well. I'm holding my own. That's not a thing. I thought it was a thing. We're getting a decent amount of meds out of here. We're actually doing pretty well in here. I've only used, I think, one med pack, but I found five or six. Unwise to remain hostile towards us. Deep mining spacesuit, how much is it worth? Spacesuits are valuable. I, I feel like no matter what, they're heavy, but they always have a decent trade in value. Landmine only run when? I don't know nearly enough. Um, I don't know nearly enough about, uh, what's it called? Thank you, Colin. Just the game itself. Twitch told me to tell you it's my two month anniversary. Aphodius, thank you for two months. I hope it turns into 20. That would be cool. That'd be fun. These guys are starting to take a punch. Let's. Oh wait. You know what? I spent all my money on these energy drinks. We might as well try them. Okay. Yeah. Blend is awesome. Right place, right time. Once again, when, you know, when you have an incredible brain that functions as properly as mine does, you, <laughs> the star you, you make really quick decisions so like far. that. Can't wait to see more. Oh, buddy boy, I appreciate it. Oh shit, okay, we got a level three lockpick. All right, let's lock the buck in, Chad, this is important. Why is it always this? I'm covering up my digi picks. This one's too quiet. I love this song. I gotta stop using this song in my videos, but I do really like it. It's a uh, Cortex Castle from Crash. Potential? No. We know we can get Thank three you, and we sir. have five in this section. here and then we need a two-piece how do I not have a two-piece the only two-piece I have is right here so we can go two here one two three four if I can get these four to my left if I can get these three to my left with the one across Fuck you. God, you, you bastard. I'm an idiot. First try. Let's take it home. Boom. I was about to say, if this thing does not open up. Zero wire, deep core pack. No legendary effects, which is a bummer. I'll grab it though, it's not worth a ton. Reactive gauge, don't tell me that's all that's in here. I swear if that's all that's in here, I'm, oh, okay, that's all that's in here. 
You know what? That's okay. We got a we got another lock pick. Notch it onto our belt. We need to keep getting those for the challenge. Because I think we need to get like 12 more. Here we go. Another lock. Let's keep it rolling. Oh, I'm popping off right here. Three, two, long. Then we need a three piece. It's so easy. That's, uh, well, you know, I'm back. I thought I was gone. I thought that Skyrim lockpicking had gotten the best of me and that I was going to lose a step. And then, you know, I thought it would be too hard adjusting to this game. Nope, I'm back. Antibiotics. We'll take the lab key, but I don't think I'll need it. I think we've cleared this place out for the most part. Never mind. Oh, that one's tanky. Heavy or automatic weapons like this one, they don't work well on the tanks. They work well on the littler guys. Man, this guy is tanky. Damn. Stick with the... Maybe he takes energy damage better. Doesn't seem that way. Oh my god, he's using the climb on desk strategy. That's my strategy. That's how I confuse NPCs. Enemy damage registered. Wait. No, wrong drug. Yes, right drug. Fuck you. Keep them stumbling. Keep them falling back. I use Nova Light much. I think that's. Oh my god, this is my favorite gun in the game. My favorite gun in the game so far. Also, that it's drippy. That, that's that's a good drip. Favorite gun in the game. So this one, I love it so much because it's like a little, um, it reminds me of like a, just kind of a corny 80s, not this one, uh, like a corny 80s sci-fi kind of very Star Trek type pistol. I love it to death and it's way more powerful than I thought. It's just a little tiny shit pistol, like a, like, um, Captain Kirk, you know? And it's got a great little... A little effect. Look at this when you shoot it at a wall. It's sweet. Let me try to find a good spot. It makes this cool little little spiral throughout the wall like it's cutting. I really love this gun. Like there, yeah, you see it? Like burns into the wall. Love this. It looks like a COVID temp gun, <laughs> like the forehead one. It does. This is my gun, though. This is like the perfect space western drug dealer. Gotta grab pack of smokes. Old earth flip lighter? That would be valuable. They're not making lighters. Is this gonna explode? Or is this just like a kettle? It will explode. No way I can get in there, right? Oh, come on! Come on, game! Stop it! Oh, I love this shit. What a fun-ass little dungeon. How many more red dots are there? There's still more people in here. Can I still cut? Can I cut through this ice? No, not this ice. That's right, I came in from the ceiling. Oh, these these little dungeons and maps are actually really, really fun to kind of navigate through. Oh no, I have to get out of here on my own, I think. 
Can I just fast travel to my ship? It would be nice if I could warp out of here. Because we got a decent amount of stuff from here. That was a great dungeon. I'm still waiting for Preston to pop out to tell me a settlement needs your help. No, you have to go out and find the settlements that need your help. Also, I uh, missed a couple of alerts. Are they, is the alert box not working? Let me refresh it, because I feel like I'm, I didn't hear the last couple ones. Um, there was an anonymous person out there seven minutes ago. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, buddy boy, thank you for the prime. Loving the Starfield content so far. Can't wait to see more. We probably won't be able to make an actual video for quite a while, but we will eventually get there. How do you like the game so far? Sorry I came in late. I'm honestly having a great, great time. Um, it really does, for me, uh, it scratches a lot of the sort of Bethesda games itches that I was hoping it would. Um, it's definitely their most kind of out there. Well, I guess if you count, if you don't count Fallout 76, this is certainly an out there like game for them to make. But I really like how they they know what their fans like. They know what they dig for the most part. Um, and especially like a lot of the things that fans haven't liked about their last two main games being Fallout 4 and Skyrim, they've certainly brought back some elements of Oblivion. A, there's a lot of Oblivion DNA in this game so far from my experience. Um, and the, the, the action, the actual combat gameplay is really fun. And that was just a generated dungeon that we were going through there, and I really, really enjoyed it. Now, if I played through that same dungeon 500 times, will I get entirely sick of it? Maybe, but I've also played through Bleak Falls Barrow quite a lot of times. Um, I played through them a ton. Uh, I, I totally understand, though, you know, much like I, I definitely understand why people were like disappointed in Fallout 4 or why they were disappointed in Skyrim. I totally understand why people might feel that the exploration doesn't feel as, um, you know how in like Bethesda games, you typically, you get into the map, you wander around, you get distracted by something and you kind of go over there. There's not nearly as much as that. Um, and I have heard from others that are much deeper into the game that really the standout is the quests and and I've heard a lot of really positive things about the main quest, um, which is good news. Uh, haven't engaged with it. I think we're in Mahayo. Is my is my house at Mahayo? No, it's a civilian outpost. Where's my house? Mahayo one. There's my house. No, that's not my house. That's where we found the party mansion earlier. Where the fuck is my house? I'm starting to lose my mind. Every planet here is named Maheo. <laughs> come up, come on, come up with new names. Maheo 6. This is like a <laughs> POV, you're the royal family. Maheo 4, Maheo 1, Maheo 3, Maheo 2A. So it's not a Maheo. It's not a Narian. No, my, my, my house is... Oh, is it Nira? No, I think we're getting close to where my house is. Samati? These all look like Goldilocks planets. And that's the kind of planet that my house is on. Ugh. There's got to be a mission somewhere. Oh, I bet I can go through my completed missions. Step, loose ends, fishy business, supply line. Okay, this is actually hilarious, though, that all of my completed quests, there's the first quest, and then there are three consecutive quests that gave me the ability to make my own narcotics. Round pounder, audition, audition. Neighborhood, dream home. Oh! See Landry Hollifield in New Atlantis about your mortgage. Is it your dream home? Yeah, but my house isn't. Oh, I'm also wanted over there. 
I'm not paying my damn bounty. First time catching a stream, been watching your VODs for a couple months and love the content. Ah, oh, Huckleberries. Thank you. Wolf? No. It's not in Seoul. It's in Star. I'm gonna find this. I'm gonna find my fucking house. No. If I haven't been there, it won't zoom all the way in. Is it Aranai? No, I've been there. Is it Olympus? It could be Olympus. Erebus? Nisoy? Yes! Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. All right. It's in the Olympus system on the planet Nisoy. Pock Pickett's home. Captain Pickett's house. We got to go home. We got to get our bearings back and try to figure out where our uh just sort of where we're at in terms of like creating our drug empire so we got to get home fumigate the entire building i don't look like a drug dealer at all no thank you kind sir Minty Fallout, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for the tier one. How was your night? Also, apologies to anybody who has to watch this on the VOD channel and you're going, what the hell, dude? Why did you stream so late that night? I'm sorry. I really, I'm going to be honest. I just want to play Starfield right now. That is, uh, that's just kind of that. I just really want to play this game. I've been very much enjoying it. Okay, decorate. Pharmaceutical lab. We have all the ingredients. I told you all that stealing the benzene was worth it. We have just enough benzene to throw this up. All right, maybe this is easier on a controller, but rotating things on mouse is so hard to get it uh, to point in the right direction. No, I already have fridges. Oh, a dartboard. I can't believe this game. We'll put up a dartboard right here. Oh, I can't. Missing resources. Lame. Hand cart. Drug dens have hand carts. We have to get the drug den aesthetic right. Utility cart. Oh, yeah. This looks like a Breaking Bad lab now. How about two utility carts, but let's make them a little disheveled. There's multiple variations of hand cart. Hand cart variations confirmed. That's right, haters. Who's laughing now? <laughs> These are the worst decorations possible. A diagnostic machine for my zero employees. Put this, uh, I don't know, we'll put that there. Coffee maker. Oh yeah, cup of Joe. We'll put it out here so it faces the uh, the floor. That way, if during our shift we get thirsty, portable stove top. I can't believe this game has George Foreman's. Once again, another valid reason to put this at the top of your game of the year charts. George Foreman's confirmed. Toilet paper. Yeah, there's going to be no going to the bathroom here. If you want to do your shitting, you're going to have to do it in the lab. We actually like contaminants in this lab. Towel rack. Oh, that's great. I love this. Ooh, weapon rack. Yeah, we got to let people know if they walk in here that we're packing heat. So we'll go weapon rack there. Weapon rack there. Oh, yeah. Load that up with weapons as we continue our adventure. Oh, you just press that to decorate. I was hoping it would do something cool. Now we can kind of take stock of what we need to make Aurora. So, Chasm Bass Oil. I don't know where the hell we're going to get Chasm Bass, but this is just jet. 
slows down time for 40 seconds. It doesn't increase your jump height like Jet does. Maybe it still does. But that wouldn't matter with the boost pack anyway. So, hallucinogen, stimulant, benzene. Where the f. Chasm boss oil? This is the problem with this game literally coming out an hour ago. I can't Google it. I can't just quit go on the wiki and ask people. Yeah, this is alchemy for the most part. Do you see when your guns are sheathed? I. I think it's just rifles. Because I know if you have your pack, and if you got a rifle, this one might disappear. But I know if your pack is on. Yeah, so usually if you're like running around in your spacesuit, then your rifle will pop up on your back, which is like 90% of the time you're playing the game, your spacesuit is on. But I don't think pistols holster, because they usually just go kind of like into the pocket. They just go right in, like right there. Unplayable. Pharmacology. This gets us to craft. I don't need any of these for making Aurora, so I'm okay with tossing it all in there. Yeah, I think we're just going to... Starfield, but I can only use items acquired from Storage Wars. Dude, the weapons or ammo thing closest to the kitchen is slightly higher than the rest. Please, it's bothering me. What the fuck are you talking about? Get out of my chat, Jackie. You're lying. It's out uh, there on the... I got my finger on my monitor right now. Nope, fuck you. Okay, look. All, Jackie, all I'm saying, hey, First off, I apologize for my language, uh, Jackie. I'm just, I'm very passionate about my virtual uh, interior decor. Um, but in my defense, if this was the National Football League and it was a close play on the field, if you threw the flag and you challenged a play, the ruling on the field would stand. There is not nearly enough evidence to overturn this. Also, you were wrong. It's slightly lower than the rest. Looks slightly higher at the top. I mean, that is, I don't even. Wait, wait, wait. What about the shadows? Look at the shadows. Okay, I know that this one is slightly angled. I know you don't see me touching my monitor, but I am. Just pretend you can see me touching it. See how the see where the bottoms of the shadows are? Okay. All right. I'm not moving them. I've decided. Sorry, Jackie. I, I really appreciate your input on uh, 
the drug business and how we should decorate this place. <laughs> but I'm just playing Jackie. I appreciate you. Thank you for uh, providing me with a really dumb thing to argue about. No, 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 you didn't stop the stream. I love that shit. Half of my videos is derailing whatever we're doing for stupid shit. How's the game so far? Um, I am having actually a lot of fun. Um, I kind of echo the sentiment that a lot of people had where when I first started the game and I first started like going. It's weird when I first jumped in and I was like, OK, I'm going to just do the random Ooh, Savannah. That's a new biome. Hold on. What do we have here on this planet? Tell me we have benzene. Argon, water, uranium, iron. Come on, there's gotta be benzene here. Water, argon, uranium. That's what we have to do. We have to find another planet and we have to set up benzene extractors. Argon. No, we're not going to find benzene here. I do kind of want to check out that savanna biome, though. That sounds cool. It does tell you the resources. So we could scan around and just look for the uh, periodic element or whatever it's called. Got we got benzene. It's on Pontus. Make route for Pontus. We got a deserted relay station over on Pontus. Planet contains benzene. Set course for Pontus. Vasco, board up. We're moving our empire forward, baby. Come to your farm? Well, how far away is your farm? Where did I get this message from? A farmer is in need? Failure to communicate. Oh, he's right across the system. This is my neighbor. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. I actually really enjoy that. I don't think people will enjoy so much like the, uh, I guess the doing a lot of the kind of exploration and whatnot from space, but I kind of really dug that shit and Mass Effect a little bit. And I've always kind of liked sim games. There's an aspect of strategy games that I really enjoy. So I kind of dig it. I like game planning and sort of mapping things out. It's been fun so far, especially as we go. You know, we're looking for the right resources. We have landed on the moon. Honestly, I just like getting up out of the seat more than teleporting out of the ship. It's more convenient. Ugh, this place is empty, though. We got to go find another companion. There's a companion you can hire on Neon. And it is or she is. I'll, I'll let you all discover her when you get into the game. I am not going to bring her on board. I hope that there's you know, some more to her character that makes me like her. But I have a feeling that this one companion that is on Neon is going to be a, what's the opposite of fan favorite? I mean, grating voice, annoying lines. She's the only companion that I've picked up where I was like, oh, I just am not a fan, not a fan of her. I, I kind of hope it turns around. She also had the exact same haircut as the character that I created, and I was like, I was like, girl, first off, you don't pull it off nearly as well as I do. Okay, let's get one thing clear real quick. But how can I be oh, it was, there is room in my storage hold for further items? It was tough. I I I hope that there are players out here out there though that enjoy her presence. Because I am all for it. Ooh, I like that suit. This is my favorite. Whoa, whoa, you talk about drip. I will accept. I mean, do we go with... 
This is my, I think this is my favorite suit so far. I just love the orange. Oh, I think it looks so fucking good. I love this. Love it to death. Really, I think the vast majority of the spacesuits, there aren't many where I've been like, eh, I'll pass. Most of them have all been pretty cool. I like the leather pocket wear combo that with the blue collar hat. Wait, what was the other? What was the Chunks hat? Chunks cap. I do like how I like the nightwear, though. That's funny. I just need to hand off some stuff to Vasco. I will await your next order here. So we'll go with. That's a good look. You guys like that? You guys like the chunks cap? And the, uh, with this? Or do you like leather pocket wear more? I like the accent in the red. I think that's a pretty good look. But it looks, a, I don't know. I don't know if I like it as much. Poncho, right? Leather pocket, ooh, okay, we have a couple of votes. Leather pocket, whoa. A lot of people like the leather pocket. Well, when I say a lot, I mean roughly two or three. Even though we're not wearing the leather pocket right now. All right, Vasco, we're here for one reason. Benzene. And to maybe shoot some things. It would be nice shooting things. That would be fun. Or yeah, with any of our challenges. Security, we need to pick 11 more locks. That's going to be a little bit. Research methods. Craft five unique food, drink, drugs, weapon mods, or equipment mods. That one's going to be a little bit tough to craft. Or to not to craft, but to get. Scavenging. Succeed in speech challenges. We still we took persuasion. We have not succeeded in a speech challenge. Still need to train pickpockets. Still need to train stealth. It could be worth it to take scavenging. I think I wanted to get scavenging to rank one or two. What did I want to get it to? Rank two, you'll find it. So rank one, you'll find extra credits. Rank two, you might find extra ammo. Rank three, you might find extra aid items. Tracked resources will get highlighted when using the hand scanner. That doesn't seem very powerful. I could just stuff my perk point. Or we could specialize in a weapon type. But I don't know if I want to... I think I want to avoid combat the entire time. Can't take botany. We got to spend four points here. Surveying. Adds an additional zoom to the hand scanner and scan distance is increased to 20 meters. That's pretty good if you combined it with, like, botany. Because then you could scan a lot of animals on a planet and, like, really 100% planets. I didn't think that we were going to take geology. It was not in my plans, but if benzene is an ingredient to make our drugs, we have to take it. It's inorganic. So if geology is going to give us a boon to collecting inorganic resources, we got to try to do it. Oh man, this place is empty. There could be some people over there. Deserted relay station. I think that's the actual place that was on the map. Oh, beryllium? No way! Get out of town. I really need to learn my periodic table. Did anybody in chat correct me? Frost and Flakes, thank you very much. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Beryllium, what a ripoff. This game making me learn my periodic tables. I didn't play this game to learn science, all right? Don't make me learn shit. I got this game to shoot shit. 
murder aliens, you, kind sir. punch things. Raspberry Cat, how are you? Thank you for the prime. Helium 3. The sequel you've all been waiting for. It's the sequel of the summer, Helium 3. It's back, and it's more volatile than ever before. The flammable sequel you've all been excited about, Helium 3. I don't know about y'all, but I'm really excited for Helium. Helium 3 is a prequel. <laughs> uh, we can check out another one of these caves. There's not, if there's no benzene in here though, we gotta get out of here. We're gonna be wasting too much time. It's not a bad idea though to keep grinding. I'm leveling up this, you are getting on my nerves, Vasco. I mean, beryllium could be valuable. Is benzene even on the... Benzene isn't an element, it's an organic compound. Jesus. Why did I think it was a rock? It sounds like a rock. Something's in here. Something was indeed in there. Okay, we're getting out of this place. I can't see anything. It's dark and scary. I'm waiting for the one cave. I guarantee that's what this game is doing. I am, I'm gonna go through like 10 of these caves and I'll be completely like, it will lull me into a sense of security. Please be something good. Please just have benzene. 75 bucks. That's like finding two gold. No way. This game has vans right off the rip. I actually just noticed that this game has natural vans. Tungsten. W. Nice. Okay, uranium's gotta be good, right? You is for you. Neodymium. One of my favorite elements. Oh, come on, you little bastard. So I wonder if we can... I don't know too much about how we make money with that kind of stuff. Like with getting inorganic rocks, I don't know how that plays into it. Honestly, the mining is actually kind of satisfying. At least so far. I don't think I could do it for 12 hours straight, but. Hey, hey surveyed the entire planet. 50 XP. All right, we've definitely collected enough while we've been here. Do I check this place out or do I just go? I should probably just check it out really quickly. Yeah, often or every now and then you can actually steal those flybys when they drop in. Yeah, Cliff, it was landing. It happens quite a lot. The ship landing happens quite a lot. Whether you can actually steal it is, from my experience so far, close to 50-50. This is a similar... I just wanted to chat. Thought y'all would be cool. Did that asshole just throw a grenade at us? You did. That was an embarrassing throw. There's no gravity here. That's pretty awesome.
All right, I don't have a lot of ammo left, but I do want to show off this gun because I was talking about how cool it is. Captain Kirk is here. It's so powerful. It's so fucking good. When I actually land my shots, it's very good. I think this is the same layout we ran into right at the start. First place we went into, Tranquility Lotus. I think that's just coffee. Don't need that. It's kind of hard to find ammo for it. It's like light rail or light something. But yeah, big fan of this pistol. Randomizer bingo. So I wonder how a randomizer could work. God, I'm embarrassing. I swear to fuck, if this is you, Vasco. Bro. He just locked me in there. That was really close. I almost blew it. There. I needed a save. Damn, that hits really hard. We gotta go with blend. Yeah, we're gonna go with blend and then sniper and we're gonna hit like eight shots in a row in their head. The fact that the energy drinks I paid for are paying off, it goes to show that, I, I don't know, I'm very prepared for the future. That's really overpowered. Awesome, though. Especially watch them fly around in zero G. Or like, what is it? Point one G. Come on, y'all. Right, you need me to open the door? You need me to open it? I got it. I got you. That won't work. Need a bit wider. This one will work. No. Will it work here? No. Yeah, we listen to Fusion Frenzy music while we lockpick. Probably need a two piece. But I need two two pieces. That one's not wide enough. Can we go three piece here? There we go. No. What the fuck? Long boy won't work. I haven't found a single piece to fit yet. You better be patient for me, Vasco. There we go. We got to go three piece. It's the only one I could get to fit. Three piece, then we go single. Now we need to get five of them here. So we go. Nope. Three. And then we need a two piece that's relatively close. It looks like this one would fit. Last row. One, two, three. Yeah, we got it. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Thank you for your patience, Spacer. I will take your drugs. I will take your ammo.
Analgesic. I think I need that. Decent money. We're doing a good job of saving up money. Especially after losing all of our net worth to <laughs> soda pop. <laughs> spiked soda. <laughs> That's what we lost our money to. My mortgage and spiked soda. Sir, I'm looking at your finances and it's just a disaster. I'm not sure what to tell you. You you may have to put your house up for sale. What did you spend all of your money on? Uh, Coca-Cola? The original formula? Fuck yeah, more credits. Always check your lockers. If you haven't played this game yet, pro tip, check your lockers. There's gonna be stuff in here. Like an orange! Yes, objectively, the best fruit! Okay, all right. I love, I love this so much. The uh, zero gravity oranges. Game of the year. Game of the decade. Just fantastic. Oh, and storage wars, yeah. Dude, how'd you lose all your money? Uh, a whole lot of things. Uh, I t bought my entire house. Bought my entire house, zero down payment. I, uh, I gambled on storage containers and I bought spiked soda. That's it. That's how I lost everything I knew near and dear to me. My wife left me. My children left me. My dad left me. Mom disowned me. My cousins left me. Second cousins never met me. Whole life's been a disaster. Okay, so no benzene on this planet. That was a disaster. You know, for a guy named Poc Pickett, I really haven't picked that many pockets. Maybe that's where our adventure has to go next. Uria? Argon, IR. Hey, can somebody, oh, it's not on the, it's not on the table of periodic elements. That makes this so much harder. Uh. Right after you said, I bought a Taco Bell head plate. Swear you missed something on Storage Wars that could have been it? That couldn't have been it? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, like in those rooms? I mean, it could have been a troll. It wouldn't be the first time that uh, Bethesda has had one of those things where they just get you to spend money. C6, H6. Wait, that's benzene? Do I have to craft it? Hold on, I'm gonna go back home. Yeah, I'm gonna go back home. Wait, no, 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 no. Stop it, stop it. Don't, uh, don't make me fight with you, menu. Um. Can be found naturally in natural gas deposits. I just hit the wrong button. Okay, I thought that was going to crash the entire stream. I did not mean to play that. Time out. Are we good? We're all good, right? Yeah, it lagged super bad. Oh, what's up, Isaac? It must have just been overkill on my, because uh, that was the uh, at the exact same time the game was loading an animation was playing and I have a stream slash recording all running on my CPU at the same time. Isaac, I think everybody loved your animation, by the way. Chat, tell Isaac how much you loved it. Tell him. Have you had any crashes yet? Not a single crash. Uh, the only crash was of my own doing because I tried to use the force weather command to fuck with the game. 
C6HN. Yeah, it's right there. So carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon six. I wonder if it's at the research table. Pharmacology. This is going to take so long to find. All right, if anybody in chat is playing this game currently and you would like to join me on this mission, I am currently looking for benzene. Should I make a tweet about it? I'm going to make a tweet about it. I'm just going to tweet right now that I need help. I need help. Uh, somebody help me out. Uh, just don't try to block me. I'm going to post it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say if anyone can locate benzene in Starfield, please let me know. Signed. Uh, I'm not sure what I say. You're going to counter tweet. <laughs> she shut up. No, I'm not stopping stream. Uh, I'm, I'm just sending out a tweet right now because I'm looking for benzene. I'm saying if anyone can locate benzene in Starfield, please let me know. Signed. How do you format if you write signed on something? Signed. Your local space drug dealer. Capitalize all my letters. All right, let's see if anybody gets back to us. Whew. This is big. Yeah, this is huge. Also, I don't know if anybody saw, but I did change my uh, Twitter logo. Um, I gave myself glowing eyes. Good thing you are specifying it in a game. Yeah, no, 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 no. I made sure to say, should I say in Starfield in Roblox? I'm going to repeat in case you missed it. I found a list that says it can be found on a planet or a moon named Nera. No idea what system that would be in. Also, my light research says it can be found near volcanoes IRL. If that might help. OK, Cliff, I did kind of notice that earlier, but I only saw the part where you said it might be found near volcanoes IRL. I did not see that first part. So. OK, we're looking for a planet or a moon named Nera. OK, that's a good start, though. That's something. Where is Nera? Is that a real thing or did Starfield just kind of make it up? Is, is that a real? I'm going to look it up. Nera the moon. <laughs> no, I, I Nera. Oh, it's in no man's sky. Oh, there's got to be a shit ton of people filling out the Starfield wiki. You, kind Starfield sir. benzene. Starfield resource vendors. Where to buy iron? What? There's resource vendors. Not, uh, get, I don't want your ads. Here are the best Starfield resource vendors to buy iron, aluminum, and nickel, and other resources you will need while crafting. Control F. Benzene. Got it. Got it. Located. Target spotted. Okay, I know where we're going. <clears throat> Who's the dude in the corner with the helmet? Oh, that? That's Billy. That's Billy. If you want to understand more about Billy and Billy's lore, I would go to um, I would go to my YouTube channel and I would watch the video that is uh, what's it called? Um, completing Fallout 4's dumbest quote unquote quests. Yeah, it's Billy in power armor, which stretched his body out to a hilarious degree. Okay, benzene located. We gotta go to, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go to jail. Psh, 
What am I doing? I don't need to get into my spaceship. What am I, some kind of coward? I fast travel there. Alpha Centauri. So it's uh, Jemison something. J uh, Jemison Mercantile. That's the name of the store. Get oh my gosh, wait, we didn't even help Steve Harvey. <laughs> we left him in jail. Oh, our poor friend. He literally inspired this entire arc we've been on. And I left him in chains. What was the Fallout video called? It is uh, Fallout 4, or completing Fallout, or attempting Fallout 4's dumbest quote unquote quest. Reliant Medical. Not quite. Oh, shit. Why did I think I could land on the lily pad? Come on. You mean to tell me in your immersive space exploration RPG, I can't land on the lily pad? At least they finally have mantling. Have you found the adoring fan yet? I haven't. You might have to get a little bit further in the main story for him to pop up. I've heard that going through the main story uh, kind of takes you on a pretty wild journey. Like it, it introduces a lot of mechanics. What we'll probably do after a couple of adventures on this drug empire we're trying to start. We'll probably get into the main story afterwards and Captain Pickett will probably be our main story that we complete. <laughs> That's why I no, I'm telling you, IGN, uh, uh, they, they hate Imagine Dragons. That's what it came down to. Floral Selenies. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Is it you? Is it really, really you? Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellations shining star of stars. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I haven't even... Look at the, the way he stares just in your face. It's kind of funny seeing it now with subtitles. It's by Vectera. By Vectera, by Vectera. That's funny as hell. Well, we found our second crewmate. Welcome aboard, buddy. It's me, baby. You know it. Then the day is truly blessed. Because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. Wait, his lip sync is actually really good compared to some of the other characters we've met. <laughs> it's this is wild. He's got he's got so much more dialogue. The original adoring fan had like two lines. <laughs> this is awesome. I ah, ah, Imperator, um, thank you. Thank you for the prime again. I'm not sure why my alerts are all fucked up, but thank you. I appreciate that. The voice is so accurate, too. This is insane. It's the same voice actor. It's uh, Craig Seckler. I mean, he's he's so he's good at scavenging. Uh, that means we don't need to take the scavenging perk. We'll find more cash. I love our chats. You're such a good listener. So quiet. So patient. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm fanboying so hard right now. This is actually really, really cool. I'm really glad I didn't spoil this for myself just to sort of hear his lines. 
I knew that. I was making sure. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I know that was uh, that was me being uh, that was my. Did you know that Aragorn broke his toe when he kicked the helmet thing? I'm fanboy. I'm literally fanboying about the adoring fan. I'm having my own adoring fan moment. Agreed. This is clearly <laughs> this is clearly destiny. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny, but you probably aren't going to win. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you in this case? Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do. Lead the way. <laughs> what is that? Lead the way. <laughs> I'm glad that they let him clearly have fun with this role. He's clearly having a blast doing these lines. Isn't this just great? This is fantastic. You won't be disappointed. Welcome aboard. Oh, that was amazing. That was actually, um, I mean, there, there's it, it, there's been a lot of just, you know, kind of great moments. And for, okay, all right, and then he goes back to NPC mode. <laughs> what, are you going in the water? Bro, <laughs> don't. He's already sick of me. Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him now, if you're in. If if he has actual backstory and kind of a story, and if they did turn the adoring fan in Starfield into sort of a like a like a real character, I will be fucking mind blown. Interested? We'd all appreciate it. Come on, bud. Oh wait, he just joined the crew. He's not actually following me. Hi. It's my second favorite thing in the galaxy, next to reading about you. I haven't done anything. I literally showed up to Constellation and dip, uh, ditched him. Follow me for a bit. Yes. How close should I follow you? Two meters behind? One meter? Less than one meter? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure you've got enough space, emotionally. Stop it. Stop. You can stay close. Try to keep their... Stay close, buddy. Oh, wow. If you insist, I'll try not to faint. Vasco, you're done. This is my new best friend. <laughs> Friendship with Vasco has ended. Now, Captain Pickett has found his new best friend, his shining star. Oh, man. I came here to pick up. <laughs> I came here to pick up in ingredients for my drugs. This that was incredible. Um, yeah, talk about sticking the fucking landing in something that I kind of wish they didn't reveal. It's very hard to in like most things to reveal something and kind of spoil it but then for that thing to also hit really really hard I missed our Bobby so much. that at least for me maybe it won't for everybody but that actually landed very very well um god I hope he has to look at the way he runs he's so damn funny full sprint okay we have to find Jemison Merc oh oh I think Jemison Mercantile is near. I actually want to say it's down here. The trailer for 100 Ways to Die in the West had the best joke in it. Yeah, I don't need drugs. I really don't need drugs. The adoring fan is going to keep me high all night long. Would you say this is more Oblivion in space than Skyrim in space? You got to be kidding me. I think in terms of like the general how the quests have played out, yes. Yeah. But it does have that Skyrim DNA where you're gonna find some really basic kind of 
you know, meh, quests. We haven't found too many since I've been streaming this because I haven't really gone and looked for, you know, radiant content much. Jemison Mercantile. Okay, I did remember where it is. What an awful logo. A giant... That's a triangle. It's not a J. Doesn't work like that. There is a bit more in the back if you're not seeing something on display. Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Oh, please, take a look. Okay, we need benzene. Come on now. But 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 benzene but but they don't have any. No benzene. Does anybody remember that last thing that we needed? It had a really strange name. Uranium. Wait, do we need uranium? We don't need uranium. Stimulant. We need stimulants. Okay, so we're gonna buy stimulants. It was stimulant. No benzene, damn. I wonder if, do you think that this exploit still works? Chasm Bass, yes, Chasm Bass oil. Oh, please take a look. Don't think she had any, but let's just double check. Nope. Appreciate the business. Let's see if this exploit is still in Starfield. So we bought all of her stimulants. So we'll quick save. Let's see. If you don't see what you want, oh, please take a look. No. That exploit is gone. It's gone. Thanks for coming in. How's the game so far? I'm on, I'm honestly really really loving it. Um it's striking doing some really exciting things with Hollywood. Especially as I get more into it and I play a little bit more quests and I kind of have a goal for my character and a goal for the stream. I am having a lot of fun. I was very positive on it just from my general sort of exploration gameplay that I got to get some impressions. I was really enjoying it, <clears throat> um, but I've just started to enjoy it more and more as we keep going. And we just picked up a new little friend. I can't wait to see what kind of space you have. We got to get you some drip. Hold on, let's change your clothes. What can I do for you, Captain? What's mine is yours. Legally, I've signed the papers. <laughs> I think he thinks we're married. Neo City Hustler outfit. Is that what I'm wearing? No, that's what he's wearing. Ooh, we could give him the poncho. Let's give him the poncho. <laughs> we could put him... <laughs> we, could, we could put our whole entire crew in Xenofresh clean suits if we find extra ones. That would be pretty damn funny. Let's give him a hat. Cover up that goofy ass hair he has. Back to work then. He looks like a Star Wars character. Doesn't he look like a, an Imperial trooper? in like Rogue One on that muddy planet if it was he was like an officer for like the muddy stormtroopers. Yeah, in, in terms of like the Bethesda formula of recent years, like if we look at, um, if we look at Fallout 4 and Skyrim specifically, just those two, I think in terms of their formula, massive improvements to dialogue. I mean, I mean massive. I've played these games a shitload over the last few, few years, and more so than just playing them a shitload, I've had to rewatch my own gameplay of them over and over and over. So I've noticed just a lot of little things that happen and a lot of the dialogue, a lot of the same things over and over again constantly. 
Uh, but I've... The, the, the dialogue and then, of course, you know, a skill tree that actually lets you specialize more into a certain build. We're not going to get into his backstory yet. Is it weird that I still get nervous <sighs> around you? We're literally best friends after all. He does have backstory. So all, all the companions I've met have had this. Do you mind if I ask you some personal that, questions? And it's usually led into... Talk. It'll be hard to top it, but you always manage. We'll learn his backstory later. We'll let his character evolve as we continue. So no benzene here. I know where we can find some other benzene, though. I don't know the exact name of the store, but I know we have to go to Mars for it. So we got to go back to the old neighborhood. Our neighborhood of Seoul. This is UC security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Not on me. Not on me. Back at my be home advised. base. You have been identified as a known criminal. Respond immediately or we will be forced to open fire. I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. Uh, you mind telling me what's going on here? For real. I got precious cargo on here. It's a boy named Adoring Fan. <laughs> Doesn't even have a name. I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. The UC Vigilance? Smart decision. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. Thieves Guild. Thieves Guild moment. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts the criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. The fuck is going on? This does remind me of, uh... Of the Thieves Guild, sorta. You know how you get arrested, then they approach you? I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. I don't know how these people know me. I haven't done anything. Let's see what's going on, though. Yeah. Let me just pay and get out of here. I don't got time for this. I have a business to run that is legal, that is honorable. Not this time. Shit. So, let me see what we're working with here. Hmm. It appears that you have a background in cyber running. Perfect. Information gathering is one of our top priorities around here. I also see that you've mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. What did I do? Wait, Eleonora actually worked on the clutter? Because it's one of my favorite parts. I was very nervous that it would not <coughs> uh, be here. All right, that was like my biggest worry. Oh my gosh, wait, that was the crime. <laughs> I forgot. The whole thing that started this whole entire debacle. Good. You'll find that I'm a stickler for details, and I'd hate to discover that your file is incomplete. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande. And I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sysdev. Are you familiar with what we do? UC Sysdev. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, dude. I'm not all caught up on the lore. Like, if this was an Elder Scrolls game and you were, you know, the Thieves Guild or the Imperial Guards or something, I'd have a little bit of an idea. So, sure. For the people out there, give us some lore. 
United Colonies System Defense. Does that help you figure out exactly what it is we do? Yeah, you're the Imperial Legion. That, that, that <laughs> basically is it. Well, yeah, you kidnapped me, though. Actually, that's something new we're trying. I figured we needed to branch out a bit, broaden our horizons. UC Sistef is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. Uh, okay, I see what's happening here. If what you're selling lets me off the hook, I'm in. Smart decision. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratch the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Yeah, I guess you have way more firepower. Why not just blow them all up? If the military rolls in and attacks the Crimson Fleet, we'd have a full-scale war on our hands. That means losses. Heavy losses. That the United Colonies can't afford. That's actually a fairly reasonable answer that <clears throat> makes a lot of sense. Okay, sure. Well, I guess I can't say sure yet. <laughs> not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistef, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. So, I'm gonna agree, because I think that that's in the best interests of the, uh, of Pickett Industries, <clears throat> but, when I first played this, I had this whole thing occur because in Starfield, do you do you all remember in Oblivion when if you uh, if you picked things up, it was illegal? So that's back. So lifting up items is illegal, which I actually like that because it's it's good for balance because it's too easy in Skyrim to like pick something up, move it and then steal it. If you would kindly continue. I'm explaining things about Oblivion, okay? Shut your shut. I guess I'm I'm in no position to. All right, fine. Yeah, it doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. Let's play the victim here a little bit. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me? Or should I find someone else? But when I first had this occur, I picked up this lady's noodles at a bar to just test it. And everyone freaked out. Everyone was running around, screaming, hollering. The guard ran up to me. The camera kind of glitched. So the guard's face was literally my entire monitor. It was hilarious. Then I ended up here. I rejected his offer. Thank you, kind sir. Hi, Jovies. Grubbin, good to see you. 20 damn months, I did not know that. Yes, she was eating noodles at a pub on Mars, and I picked them up, and the guards just sprinted over to me. It was it was really, really funny how it played out, so I ended up here. You were saying I'm you have permission to speak. I rejected the offer, and I got a notification at the top of my screen that said... Uh, UC hates you, or the U UC Sift Sis Def is your enemy. Something along those lines. I'm not sure exactly how that plays out. If it's really like a full faction sort of war type thing, I don't think it is. I wouldn't expect it to be. But it was at least cool to see that I made a choice and apparently a faction wasn't a fan of me. But I'm in. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. I 
can't believe they arrested me in this outfit. Hey, hey. Oh, you came to visit me? God, dude, I love you. <laughs> I try to keep your ship clean at all times. Cleanliness is next to godliness, and godliness is next to you. Off we go to another adventure. I'm in jail. The, uh, the look, <laughs> the look in Captain Pickett's eyes. He's so sick of this kid. So you took the op instead of serving the time. Gotta be the commander's new mole, huh? Going in all alone, infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Yes. What? Still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I couldn't. But I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, 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 whatever. You and I both know that the mechanics of this game are not deep enough for that to actually happen to me. Really long time, right? Pardon. This is pretty sweet, though. You look cool. I suddenly no longer want to be with the adoring fan. Who are you? Ikande's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. Ah, uh, you're too edgy. I have a cool helmet and a cool voice. I'm probably really good with a sniper, too. All right. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Dude, he's so excited. <laughs> he's like, I want to be a part of this mission. Okay, fine, get in the elevator. Why the hell are you even allowed in here? How did you get past security? The United Colonies have a really low chance at winning whatever war they're starting if they let this little asshole get through security. Hello. Am I even in the right spot? I might not be tracking the quest. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. I like this guy. Sysdef's nerve center, dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Wait, is this the person I Attack? And this is me shooting my way off this prison ship? Okay. I like that that's an option, but I'm not going to do it. Adoring fans' hair should be visible at all times. I will dress my best boy how I lo how I want to. Can we romance him? I'm not sure. I have seen the ability to flirt. What exactly is the Crimson Fleet? Hmm, that's strange. According to your file, you've encountered them before. On Vectera specifically. They were the pirates that attacked your mining outpost. I'm surprised you don't remember. Impressive ship, but I don't see where I fit in. So the Vigilance, is that the ship that I'm trying to get onto? We are currently in the solar system, in deep orbit around Phobos. As to why, I'll explain momentarily. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Get me in a room with them, and I'll talk them into anything. I mean, I only have level one persuasion. This is probably a pretty high level persuasion check. But it's worth trying. Might as well see. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden. Did I pick the wrong option? Contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia. 
So you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. More drugs! I just keep getting handed drugs. This is fucking awesome! <laughs> Aurora? Alright, we'll play dumb. We gotta play dumb here. What's Aurora? I have no clue what that narcotic is. Aurora is a Class A controlled substance that's illegal to transport outside of Neon, a city on Voli. Get caught with this stuff aboard a ship, and you're looking at some serious fines. They're not that serious. They're not that serious of drugs. I'm taking whatever drugs they give me. If it's actual drugs instead of just like a quest item that's a... Like a box. You can probably sniff out a narc from a sector away. That's a very Star Wars line. Although narc isn't a Star Wars word. She can probably sniff out a blank from a sector away. That just sounds like something Han Solo would say. And Han Solo was cool, so I'm gonna pick the Han Solo line. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. It's a lot to absorb. Yeah, that's this whole goddamn game. <laughs> so, it's this whole thing. You must have quite a bit of confidence in my abilities. If he starts, like, bragging about how successful I am as a criminal, that'll be hilarious. If I didn't have confidence in your abilities, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Remember, this entire operation just, rests... Oh, I didn't mean to skip that, but, like, just to sort of paint the picture... Um, the abilities that he is describing were me getting caught pickpocketing a small bottle of pills from a doctor and then having to escape in, like, a wild shootout. I didn't kill anybody. Yeah, I'm just doing this for the money. I'm gonna be honest. I'm actually just gonna be a straight shooter here. I'm in it for the cash. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. What, dude, I'm, I'm... Spiraling out of... Okay, sure. Yeah, all right, got it. Your code of conduct and ethics. Yeah, let's hear what this nerdy little code of conduct is. You don't know, you know nobody reads those, right? It's like terms of service. To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. Tough talk for a guy in a video game that involves a lot of guns blazing. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll stay the course. We're good. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. How will I remain in contact with you? <laughs> Can you give me your phone number? Wait, do they not have cell phones in this damn game? Nobody's got phones in this universe. We don't even got cell towers. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. Okay, sounds good. So, Ceres Bowden, that's who I have to meet on Mars? All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. Okay. So, the way I'm starting to understand the factions in this game, You've got UC Sysdef, who is kind of like uh, Space Cops. You've got the Crimson Fleet, Please, who is... Please, finish your thought. 
so that we can move on to other business. I was in the middle of it. You keep doing that. Good luck. But we've got we've got UC Sis Def. They're kind of like space cops. You've got the Crimson Fleet. They're the bad guys. You've got the Trade Authority, who seem to be very gray, but more on the shady side, kind of like spice hmm. dealers, but not trying to murder everything in their path. Kind of like the Huts hey, in Star Wars. Although, eh, the Huts in Star Wars definitely kill a lot of people. <coughs> and then the Free Star Collective, which is like, hey. uh, they're a very, uh, sort of 13 colonies, USA sort of, yeehaw! America, freedom. At least that's the vibe I kind of get. Yes. <clears throat> oh shit! I'm supposed to talk to her now. Gosh, this is a... I shouldn't be complaining about this, but damn, this is a lot of talking. I'm enjoying it though. All right. I really am. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Oh, you guys are so lame. Oh, you're so lame. I cannot wait. Please, game. Please, please. Bethesda, please. Let me, please let me betray them. I, I'm asking you right now, Todd. Todd, please. I will be so mad. <laughs> I mean, I won't be that upset, but please let me fuck this up. Just let me fuck this up. This will be my favorite game ever if you let me blow it. Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Oh my gosh, look at that. A speech thing. Hey, security speech. Look at that. Kevin, I love you. Did you just ask Todd to let you blow it? Did I stutter? Look at that. I mean, this is, this is again, another thing that I, I kind of emphasized in the impressions that I, the little impressions video that I did is, you know, maybe these are just clarifying questions, but there's just a lot of dialogue and I've enjoyed most of it. Like, I'm not sitting here going, oh, the gosh, more time. I've, busy, so I've actually had a lot of fun with it. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Bactera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Are you going to cry? I think she might cry. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm no hero. I'm here because you literally forced me to. She is. She's crying. She's about to cry. I was hoping that you'd be inspired into thinking this is more than a punishment. It appears that I was wrong. I suppose we'll simply have to motivate you in a different way. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return as compensation for your efforts. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. OK, let's let's not do. She she really tried to good cop, bad cop me. Howdy from the Twin Cities. Sketch it up. Howdy from uh, also the Twin Cities. How are you? All right, credits. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. Oh, I'm sorry. All Is right. your 17 We've trillion dollar space credits budget? Hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, Searsha? I'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're oh, yes. Yeah, so somebody said in chat, uh, Searsha. So that's an Irish name? Did not know that. Feel like discussing your personal experience with the Crimson Fleet? We'll be here if you need us. Yes. Wow, I'm sold. Although what I want to do right now more than anything, wait, where am I? Is my ship docked? 
I mean, this is really cool. The way that this whole thing is set up. You know. Is there anything else I can answer before you proceed to the next phase of the They've done an, they've done a really really good job with I know these are just like filler NPCs and they're in the background. But it is super super Hello. nice to see that these kinds of set pieces you know, you'll see like you have your main two three characters that you have a lot of dialogue with and a lot of interaction with <clears throat> but the background is filled in and it makes the world feel real like right now i am in ask yannick about another shifted xenofresh <laughs> why did that just pop up so the uc vigilance i must be docked here docking ports this way this is just super cool you <laughs> yeah you don't know me i'm okay i can play tough guy as well that's a sweet helmet i'll learn your trust in time yeah no you don't know me you don't know who i am no i don't but i do know the previous occupants of that interrogation chair you were sitting in not good people to say the least i think one of them even strangled a man with his teeth But if Commander Ikande says you're Sistef, then you are one of us. For now. I hope I can kill him. You guessed it. In fact, I'd say you've got what linguistic experts call FOGO. A firm grasp of the obvious. But I'm not just any pilot. I'm the best. And I've got the kills to prove it. Oh, I don't like you. <laughs> I bet I could fly circles around you, Buster. I just learned how to play this game like a week and a half ago. Bet I could kick your ass. I like your confidence. And there's always room in the squad for another Apex Predator. Sigma. Just be sure you know who's. You're, 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 you're using the wrong terms there. I cut my teeth on space trucks, believe it or not. Before I got my stripes, I was just another cargo hauler trying to earn an honest wage. But after a couple slick escapes, I got recruited to the academy and went from dodging pirates to hunting them. Thing is, some of my best tricks were with a big rig. Ever try a pitchback with a Hope Tech truck with two fleet wraiths on your tail? Compared to that, doing it with a military fighter is a piece of cake. <laughs> Later, Gator. All right, cornball. <laughs> All right, dude. Nobody likes you, by the way. I just want you to know. I want I want everybody on the ship to be aware. All of the sys dev cadets, everybody in here who may be new. Um, yeah, this guy right here, Alex. What is it? W Vong? Yeah, this guy, Alex Vong sucks. OK, honestly, adoring fan is cooler. That was the best trip to jail I've ever had. Later, Gator. Never mind. I'm in love with him. I'm sure they're sad to see you go. Okay. All right. You know, I've had about enough of you and your and your lines. Hey. I'll leave you. I'll leave you this time. I'm watching you, kid. Um, okay, so I think that that sequence probably plays out if you are arrested in UC, yeah, in a UC or, or a United Colonies sector. I doubt that that plays out if you get arrested in Freestar Collective. It looks like I can just fast travel right to Valai or Voli because I've already been here. So I'm not really sure how much of a difference the grav drive you have on your ship makes. <clears throat> Let's head to Neon. Let's actually see if we can get our friend out of jail.
Let's get our friend out of prison. I think jail was over here. Okay, this is your first serious mission. Hey, this is your first serious mission, okay? Keep your cool, all right? Don't be an idiot. If any shit goes down, I need you to have my back. Let's play it cool. I just went the wrong way. <laughs> I went the complete opposite way that I should have gone. It's on the other side of town. What did you miss? We are working for the UC SysDef, kind of undercover. We're still looking for... Clover over at Kelcorp? She's too good for We're still looking for a good amount of drugs, or a good way to shore up our... It's right here. Ain't no funny stuff. There's no way he's still in jail. He's not in here. Is he free? Come on, tell me he's free. Tell me he's at the store. If he's at the drugstore, I really, really hope we can bring him onto our crew. I'll be so happy. We need to get a bigger ship so we can expand our crew size. Oh, but I'm gonna be so pumped if he's a crew member. He would be the perfect candidate. I think I got them. What was his name again? Interior cells. There's a decent amount of them. Yeah, in neon. Weapon store. Wait. Be careful if you run. I don't remember what shop it was. We have everything you need for all your day in the Stroud Equip. Above the sky and rice. You are the best, and you deserve the Wait, shit, what what store was it? Never hear that one about I got a quest that popped up. It might have just been an activity. There we go. Orphan and the platypus. Welcome, Ask Yannick about another shifted Xenofresh. I really hope that one guy's not gone. But at least he made it out of jail. <clears throat> yes, what? Well, is there a type of weapon Pomb Attack won't make? Hey no. There. Our friend is gone. Time to get blended. Our friend is gone. That's so sad. Yeah. I'll see you later. So we can definitely do shifts at that place, pick up Aurora, and bring it back here as much as we want. Which is good fun. But man, that was really, really fun. That was awesome. Um... We're going to try to pick this up. I'm honestly not 100% sure. So I feel like what I might do, I might spend tomorrow making an intro and summarizing the first stream that we did. Also catching up with editor Isaac so that we can finish. The next video on the channel is going to be uh, Skyrim. It's going to be a Skyrim video, uh, which I think is good. Honestly, because a lot of people are probably avoiding spoilers. Uh, and it'll be probably a decent thing to either watch or get a kick out of. We spend a lot of time in the video making fun of passive income YouTube shorts bros. Um, and there's a lot. Of, <laughs> we, we have like, I wrote like four jokes that at least I think are pretty funny in the first I think minute and a half before the actual challenge starts 24 hour stream let's go no not quite I took a break earlier because I had to figure out my performance issues that I was having we got them all figured out it was uh, it was an issue on my end but we solved that spoil the shit out of this game for me unfortunately uh, that's gonna be it for me tonight. I'll try to have the first VOD 
or I'll have try to have the VODs up soon. But um, I know performance issues, not the first time. How, yeah, how are y'all forgetting? This is so weird being backwards. I'm, I'm all twisted up in this scene. I'm like, I don't know which way to look. Waking up to you still streaming was wild. So I assume your time zone is pretty far ahead. And yeah, I took about four or five hours off something around there and then got back to playing. Did we? We really didn't even do that much combat on this stream. God, that's such a good sign. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be really, really long pieces of this game where there's just a shit ton of just blowing shit up and combat and all that stuff. Let's, um... Let's see who is playing Starfield. Uh, oh, Milk. Milk is playing Starfield right now. I'm going to send you guys over to Milk. It must be Joe Joman. He must be taken off to the stars. We're big Joe Joman fans here. We love him. Uh, but thank you all for hanging out for a late stream. These are like, this is not the normal time for me to stream, but yeah, let's go hang out with Space Joman. Catch you guys later. Have a good night.